Yo, I'm a gun club member. I'm gonna take these rookies downtown. Are you with me? Hey, what's your name, son? It's Luis, man. I don't think that's such a good idea. Yeah? They said catching that pass in my high school championship football game was a bad idea, because I broke my leg in 13 places, but I scored a touchdown and won the game. The world was built out of bad ideas, my friend. Come on. The PE4 has been molded and is set to explode in 60 seconds. Now listen, people. We're your friends. Me and me brother here. Why are we... you telling them we're brothers, you idiot? That's gonna make it hard for them to find us, isn't it? I'm trying to be honest with these people. We put them through a lot today. Fuck these people. Fuck your cause. That shit's over. Ireland's not the only thing that's green. Dollars are too. Now you said bloody Ireland. That's gonna narrow the search, ain't it? Fuck you. Take the needle out your arm, then tell me what to do. I'll let you tell me what to do when you stop shoving half of Bolivia up your nose every Saturday night. Motherfucker! <laughs> Fuck! Oh. We told you not to fuck with us! <laughs> Shit! Michael! Say fucking Michael! <laughs> fucking shit! Get the money! Me and my brother are watching the kids! Yeah, look at me in. Shit. Yeah, like I said, man, everything's a little fussy. Well, if you think of anything else, Mr. Lopez. Yeah, sure. Sure, I'll give you a call. Thanks. Yo, what's up, Bobby? Hey, 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 hey. I'm at the bank. The place got robbed. Nothing to do with me, I, I swear. Um, some Irish guys. Anyway, um, listen. I'm coming over, okay? So wake up. You hear me? Wake up. Sorry. You, no, I, I was working late at the club. Yeah. Mommy, don't be like that, okay? I'll be home soon. Look, I, I gotta go. Okay. Who the fuck is it? It's me, though. Oh, whatever. Come up. How are you? I'm good, boss. How are you? Ooh, you look terrible. <laughs> That's good, because I am terrible. Fucking wretched. What's wrong? Oh, the usual. Boyfriend thinks I'm a cash machine. One nightclub catering to the rich, mindless crowd. In the city where the rich, mindless crowd is suddenly poor and mindless. Another club catering to the gay and decadent crowd, where the gay and decadent crowd suddenly think decadence means buying outrageous new throw cushions instead of getting loaded in a bar. And every half-wit, part-time hood in this city thinking, I know. Let's put the squeeze on the club owners. They must really, really want to substitute my inadequacies with their money because, after all, they want to stay up all night talking bullshit to morons because they enjoy it. it sounds pretty usual. Oh, thanks for the support. Hey, that's what I'm here for, boss. Mm -hmm. Yes, you know, if the bodyguard business partner thing doesn't work out, you should consider a career as a fucking life coach. A what? Never mind. Did you speak to Troy? Yeah, he said he loves you, but he can't handle working the door at a gay club anymore. He says people are laughing at him. Who's laughing at him? I don't know. I think the little people who live in his head. The ones stuck in 1955. <laughs> oh, I love those people. And what's up with Desi? Yeah, he says he saw you last night. Yeah, and you was holding court with that Chloe Parker until uh, 4 a.m.? I was? Apparently so. Oh, my God. 45 years old, and I get my kicks doing blow with 17-year-old kids. His only claim to fame is that people know better what their vagina looks like than their face. I should be sent to prison. Shouldn't I? Yeah, most definitely. What's this money? Did you rob your own club? Tony, I just went to the bank for you, man. I don't want it in the bank. Hey, 
Hey, Tony, the door was open. Man, it's easier to get into your apartment than into your nightclub. Yeah, we have an old widow policy at the club. Here I ain't so sure. Oh, I love getting racially abused by a spick. Yeah, who's a fucking taco, Tony? Uh, my business partner, Luis. Gentlemen, watch your language. We're in the great melting pot. We're not spicks or guidos or fags. We're proud Americans. Luis, this is Vince and Rocco, relatives of Gracie. And credit is to you. And guess what? We ain't here about Gracie. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> That's a start. I guess we don't have to beat you two lovers up. <laughs> yeah, good luck. See you later. Oh, nice to meet you, muscles. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> fuck, there goes payroll. Who the fuck were those two assholes, T? Fine men of the cloth. Who the fuck do you think they are? Ancelotti goons I borrowed money from way back. Uh, never mind. Amateurs. Come on, let's get out of here. Let's go. We need to go to Hercules. Give it off, Tom. Where'd the cash come from? Well, Tommy, you've been running a skim job. 100% legitimate, Luis. You know me. Total transparency. Sometimes I wonder if you brought me on as a partner just to share the blame when the IRS comes knocking. I was investing in your industry and acumen. Don't look for anything sinister here. That's what you say, T. But I'm kind of suspicious. Maybe when it's in that robbery made me paranoid. And maybe it's just hanging out with you. Who the fuck knows? client is coming tonight. We need complete discretion. Hey, <laughs> you know me, Tone. Don't ask, don't tell. Military grade. Hey, this is serious. He's paranoid no one will buy his next CD if they know he'd rather be singing cabaret than rapping. As if people buy CDs anymore. Sure. Look, I really need to talk blah, to you, Tony. Blah, blah, blah. Another time, Troy. We'll be at Masonette. Troy's getting anxious. We should all be getting anxious. The nightclub business is going to shit. Forget the banks, we're the ones who needed a bailout. No more of that shit left, D. What? Say that again. Time to be charming, Lulu. Hi, Tom. Hey, Al. I gotta make some calls.
not interested. You're his damn mother. You ain't coming in. Not in them clothes. Not with that attitude. Enjoy looking for a job in this economic climate, motherfucker. Yeah. Yo, what the fuck, eh? Tell this clipboard and earpiece motherfucker to back off, Al. Back up? Yo, what's the problem, D? You asking me? Yo, relax. Go inside. I got it. Yeah, go relax. Go inside, eh? Oh, no, mommy. You need to okay. go relax. Later for you. Ah. Nice. Shut up. Okay? Jeez. Wow. Downtown's really changed you, man. You too good to take money from me and Enrique now? You know it ain't even like that, bro. Okay, you don't pay for shit in here. Okay, you just can't be looking like you came from selling dope on the corner. You say that like it's a bad thing. Tony, what do you think? <laughs> Desi wouldn't let me dress like that, huh? You see what I mean? Come to think of it, Lou, what the fuck are you wearing, huh? What? Go home and take a bath. <laughs> do nothing else. Put on some clothes, huh? Yeah, I had a complicated day, okay? All right, so take some time off. The girls in there could use a night off, too. <laughs> we up. Bye bye, gentlemen. Nice boss you got there. Stuck a fucking fag. Mike, come on. Hey. Club of yours was bullshit. You gonna take us back to the heist or what? Cheesy vaginas. Oh, Jay, I've been thinking about this. How many days a week you work those corners? Seven days. Junkies need junk, rain, sleep, or shine. You ain't no postman, look. You a pusher. What do you mean, come from? Make more slinging meat at Burger Shot than risking a bit on them corners. No fucking way. You sound like 5 0. Shit. You think Enrique could get a job at Burger Shot? What's your QH? 76, motherfucker. What they gonna let you do at Burger Shot with an IQ sub 80? They just about to let me wash the goddamn dishes. You see what I mean now? They don't even have dishes at Burger Shop. All this shit is polystyrene. There ain't another job in the city for this dumb bastard to do. Hourly wage considered and all. You don't get no pussy work in Burger Shop, neither. Damn. If them Ivy League motherfuckers can't find work, what you think Rike's meant to do? Work them corners, man. Work them corners. I do don't mean nothing, man. You guys are better than this. I don't want any of us to go away again. Then come on board with us. We can start selling our own product. Your connections, man. We'll have the whole city on our gear. I took a bit for you once, man. I ain't going back there. You think I put in all this work to go back inside? Prison was the best thing that happened to you, L. What the fuck are you talking about, man? Before you went in there, you was a skinny little shit, and now you pumped up. Don't tell me that sugar daddy of yours would have been interested in the scrawny fucker that went away. Little Luis, little Luis. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank you so much, man. Never thought about being grateful to you for signing me up to the fight-off, hairy-ass rapist day and night exercise plan. My fucking pleasure, bro. Here we be. Thanks, Luis. Ladies, L, tell that boss of yours we'll be back same time next week. Yeah, see you, mama huevos. Yeah, it's me, Tom. Things go smooth at the clubs? <laughs> Made me wonder why I need you around at all. 
Oh, great. I might just take a vacation then. Come on, I was kidding. The clubs fell apart without you. So that bank robbery on the news could have been an opportunity for some positive PR. Fuck that shit. I don't need any press like that. Not with the way police treat an ex-con in this town. <laughs> have it your way. See you soon. Oh, where the fuck have you been, man? Yeah, I came as soon as I could. I don't pay for as soon as I could. Sleep with half the women in Liberty City, no doubt. What's wrong with you, man? You're acting like an asshole. You think I don't know that? You think I like being like this? Then what's wrong, T? I fucked up. Good and proper. I work on Gangwa Nightlife 20 years. I beat everyone. Mayors, rivals, drugs, everyone. And this time, I fucked up. I'm the only man in the history of this town with the hottest gay and straight clubs at the same time, and I'm about to lose everything. What are you talking about, T? I don't know if it's that idiot Evan, or, or the economy, or this fucking cocaine, or the pills, which I am not taking anymore, but this time, I fucked up. Oh. Oh. I've done a deal with the wrong devil, man. I'm such an idiot. Hey, things have been bad before, man. You get us out of it. I fight. You plot, together we get out of it. Sure, but we've never been this fucked before. Hey, you saved me, man. Made me. Gay Tony will always be the king of this town. You are this town. I sold the business to two different people, and they each think they own the lot. Man, we're fucked. So I'll go tell them they gave you the money as a present. If they don't like it, I take them to the special VIP room at the bottom of the West River. <laughs> it's gonna be very crowded in the VIP room. These are not nice people, and there's a lot of them. And right now, you and me have to go play nice with one of them so they don't start sending rent a Goomba into the club. Fuck. It's gonna be okay, man. Yeah, whatever. Meanwhile, there's a there's this blogger, this nebbish with an internet connection, bad-mouthing me all over town. Do you know this guy? The, the celebrinator? Celebrinator what? I, whatever. Come on. All right, who's the girl? There wasn't a girl, man. There's always a girl. We're meeting Rocco at the driving range. We doing something for Rocco? The kid who took your money? Yes, one of the joys of getting old is being ordered around by people below the age of consent in Utah. Don't you mean it's one of the joys of borrowing money you can't pay back? He can take my money, blackmail me, put a gun to my head, but if I'm caught in bed with him, it's me who goes to jail. Rocco struck me as an insecure prick, but I didn't think he rode like that. He doesn't. I don't think so, at least. You think he does? All that pent-up suburban hard man angst? The fake tan and muscles can be confusing. Actually, he reminds me of Evan. So sue me. I got a type. Yeah, sure. You could call crazy coke addict moron a type. You been reading my love me profile? Lonely old has-been sees crazy cokehead with bulging orange biceps? Enjoy your youth, Luis. You don't appreciate it until it's over. Oh, yeah. I'll look back on these years of getting shot at and helping you clean up puke as the best times of my life. Let's go find him. Rock, hey, how are you? There they are, the spick and the fag. Tony, shit, you got burrito breath. You ain't been eating Mexican again, have you? Yo, Rock, you invested in the wrong clubs, man. Maybe split sides is more your vibe. Oh, but a bum. I'm sure I would have found that funny if I spoke spick. Real shame, I'll have to ask my maid to translate for me. Rock, what do you need? I need you to help me get some information out of this union prick who's decided to get an overinflated opinion of himself. These fucking guys, stuck in the 1970s or something. Where is he? He's right down there. Fuck! <laughs> you fucking miss me, you piece of shit. Fucking prick. Oh, big man. Yeah, yeah, you fuck, you miss me, I'm prick. gonna get down there and go you talk miss. to him. You swing like a You bag. hit him with some balls when I tell you to, huh? <laughs> you think you can do that for me, Louise? Yeah, I'll give it a try.
are we doing, man? We're keeping our most important investor happy. Just hit it already. Shit! There you go! Tell us who's causing problems already. There's a guy who works at Libel, a foreman on a Columbus Avenue job. He's the guy holding this up. Okay, so far. That's it! Let me fucking go already! Why is he moving it? Damned if I know. Don't Rocco have someone else to hit the batting cage for him? You've met the guy, haven't you? I can't imagine he's got too many friends. Oh! Ow! Oh! Give me the rest of them, you piece of shit! I hear Jack Duffy with the TWU might be with them. Okay, now fuck off already! This don't add up. Untie me now, asshole! Rock should get a job at this place. Where'd you learn to play golf, Lou? Right here, right now. Needs must, don't. To be honest, I never fancied the game. I find the clothes you have to wear kind of unflattering. You people is more suited to being caddies. Shit. You're not gonna wear any tour championships, that's for sure. How am I supposed to hit it with you in my ear? You Dominicans is meant to be athletes. Bend the knees. It's all in the knees. You want to step up? Be my guest. Oof! Ouch! <laughs> that ain't it. You and me know that ain't it. You fucking assholes! The head of the LTAs with the Messinas. There's no way you're gonna get those contracts. They know where I am, assholes. I wouldn't want to be you. You think that means shit to me? Fuck you. Oh, I'm fucked. Help me! I don't want to think about the trouble we've been in if they kill Rocco. Let's get down there. Friends, fucking fantastic guys. Thanks, Lou. Sweet you say so. How are we meant to outrun them in this thing? That was a pleasant outing, Rock. Where's that put us with you know what? We square? Square? What you borrowed? At those points? You ain't even making a dent on the interest. Besides, I'm about to have to do all the messy work on this guy myself. No, but I, I, I told you shit. I told you everything. I'll see you girls later. Jesus! Come on, let's head back to the apartment. Hey, you know, I'm really warming to that guy. Like a back case of crabs. Crabs are easy to get rid of. Believe me on that one. Thank you for sharing. We're business partners. We share everything. The emphasis is on business, bro. You can keep your crabs to yourself. Sorry, man, but I really got us in the shit here, Luis. Tony, man, you gotta calm down. You're really pushing me. Yeah, well, if you weren't out chasing tail, this was a two-man operation like it should be, then maybe things will be holding together better. Oh, I'm getting blamed for this now? Oh, of course. Whenever I come to the clubs, you ask me to run off on some stupid errand like a chump. You don't ever let me into the serious shit. And you do deals without even telling me. Until it comes time to protect your ass from whoever you got your fatwa of the day all from. All right, all right. Maybe I've taken you for granted. I'll change. I'll be better. Yeah, thank you. But I don't believe it. Here we are, bro. 
Rest up, okay? Listen, Lou, would you mind paying Maury a visit? He says he needs help with something. I know he's a bit of a schmuck, but we owe the man money, and I don't want him anywhere near the clubs. I feel you there, T. That guy is a social atom bomb. I'll go see him. Aquí está su cafecito. Gracias. ¿Quieres azúcar? No. Mami, soy yo. Ay, Luis. Hey, hijo, ¿quieres un cafecito? Sí, un ching. Un ching. Uh, Luis, this is Mr. Santos. What's going on? Hey, I guess I didn't recognize you from your mom not having any pictures of you up on the walls. Yeah, I guess she doesn't have any up. Now you mentioned it. I guess mug shots don't sit along too well with graduation shots. Hey, who the fuck are you? Well, it's complicated. Mr. Santos is a businessman. It's not that complicated when you think about it. You see, your mother here has been making that classic American mistake. In other words, she's been living beyond her means. Hey, bro, be polite when you talk about my mother, man. I'm being very polite. See, I like her. She's a good woman. If I ain't like her, I would have burned this building down by now. I mean, you know you could have came to me for money. But what would you do to get it? Yeah, I wouldn't borrow it for a piece of shit like this. Hey, be careful, kid. I could have you killed. Oh, I'm real scared of you, motherfucker. Huh? How do you sleep at night, man? Long talking to old women. Hey, 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 she called me, okay? It's business. We run a service. She knew the rules. She should have read the small print. You know, you really are a piece of shit. I'm a businessman, and trust me, it could get a lot worse, my friend. Now calm the fuck down. Your mother told me about you. Maybe you can help me pay off your mother's debt. That way, this building doesn't have to come to an unfortunate end. Yeah, okay. Okay, let's go. As always, nice to see you, Miss Lopez. Luis, be careful. Yeah, it's a bit rich coming from you. You ought not to judge me, Luis Lopez. You're just like your father. Let's walk into him. Start fighting for money again. Sorry, bro, but I don't do that no more. I saw you go a few years back. Could have been something if you didn't care so much about that pretty face of yours. Thanks, but that ain't the reason I quit. You ain't quit no more. My thinking is you were bad enough for no one to notice when you take a dime. You beat the first two guys I set you up with. Then you fall on the third. Fuck, bro. Shit, bro. I sure didn't think I'd be coming back here again. Man. There's probably even some guys on the scene that still remember me. If they ain't all fucked up by now. We are fighting a shine, Santo. Get him trains on ringside. You up, kid? How much money I had on that fight? Are you too fucking stupid to know when to lay down? Guess I must be. You're a fucking dead man. I'm gonna bring that bitch mom of yours too. Y'all don't think you are, tough guy. This little game's over for you. You ain't so tough. What have you been doing? I've been taking care of things for you, ma. That guy ain't coming around no more. Don't worry about it. What kind of attitude is that to give your mama? Do you think you're something special? Like some baseball player? Like some gangster? I mean, I didn't imply anything like that. You organize parties, Luis. You're a bouncer? Don't act a big shot with me because I know who you are. Mommy, you don't know me. The most important people in the world come to our clubs, and I look after them. I have something, and I look after you. I'll see you soon, okay? Bye. Hey! Yo, what the fuck is wrong with you, man? What you mean, homie? You can't be sitting here, man, watching him. Any fool policeman on the second day on the job will know you're the guy with the shit, man. You'll wind up back inside, you moron. It's nice to see you, Mr. Big Shot. Real nice to see you. Captain Downtown. Come up here to talk down to his old friends? Yeah, I just care about you guys, okay? I don't have a choice, man. My right-hand man got a single-digit IQ. Hey, H, come over here, man. Of course, I could do what you did. Run the fuck away. Go fuck a man or some shit? Yo, I ain't fucking no man, bro, okay? I'm working the best clubs in the city. I ain't go nowhere. 
I'm ten minutes away on the train. Ten fucking minutes. What's up, H? It's like, it's another country down there. Ten fucking minutes. I give you ten fucking minutes. You ran away. Yo, whatever, man. Whatever. Whatever. You want a job, bro? I'll get you a job, man. You know that. Yeah, yeah, for sure, man. I want a job sucking some aging Playboy's cock. I want that job real bad. Sign me the fuck up. <laughs> You're such a dick, bro. You would know. Enrique, would you get the moron to shut up, please? I'm sorry, man. I just miss you. Well, maybe I express myself coarsely, but we was like family. Oh, yeah, loco, we are family, man. But family doesn't mean we have to live up here slinging dope to a bunch of suburban punks from Aldenay. Man, don't no complain about how life could be. We on the doorstep, man. Liberty fucking city. We could run the fucking world, man. Oh, and you running the world? Or you running errands for some ass muncher? Yo, Tony's all right, man. He's like, like the, the daddy, daddy I, I never, never had. had. Oh, oh. <laughs> fucking sugar daddy. Hey, whatever, man. My mate. Eh, Luis, boys. Hey, mommy, hey, Mrs. How Zero. are you, boys? Hey, Mrs. <laughs> Hi, Luis. Oh, you look tired. Hey, mommy, I've been working, you know. I do know. That's the problem. When you're going back to school. Hey, mommy, por favor. I hear you're going back to school, Armando. I'm doing an MBA, Mrs. L. Mm -hmm. Hey, let's go. Mommy, I gotta go. Okay, but here, take this. We gotta... <laughs> Luis, take your life more seriously, baby, please. Don't be like your father. Look at your brother, look at your sister. They're doing so well. Mommy, I know, but what do you expect? I gotta hang out with morons like these two, okay? Bye. <laughs> Let's go. Morons like us, eh, my brother? Ah, you know how mommy is. Oh, like a woman has been abandoned by her children? Okay. Lo, 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 lo. I know you think we small. I know you think we ain't shit. But that's why I hit you up, man. Why? Because we got something real coming down. Yeah, the last time we had something real coming down, I did two years. Look. I'm not gonna insult your intelligence by telling you shit is gonna be different now. But it is. It is. Come on, trust me. Let's go. Business is going down in East Hook, bro. Get us over there, bro. Armando, Enrique, I'm serious about this, man. You need to get out of this place. Make something of yourself. Easy for you to say, Don Juan. I don't get your problem with the neighborhood. The heights ain't all bad, bro. Oh, yeah, sure it ain't, man. How many kids from our class stuck around up here? None that did anything. Them punks Oscar, Willie, and Alonso did. And look where they at. Fuck them. You had some good times here. Don't forget about that shit. Yo, remember the summer of 99? Yeah, I do. It was damn hot that year, wasn't it? Hot as shit up here in 99. And we started getting into that Vespucci University Toto. Remember that? Nothing quite like college girls. Yeah, even Rike got him son, didn't he? <laughs> Yo, shit. That Iberian girl. Fuck the glasses <laughs> right off her nose. I sure did. Yo, hey, everybody gotta grow up someday. Not if you live next to a college, you don't. Them bitches stay the same age your whole life. True, bro. But that's not what I meant. I know. Shit. How them Gomez boys anyway, Luis? Hey, you know I don't see them dumb fucks no more. <laughs> 5-0 think you do. 5-0 asking us about you and them all the time. You see Luis Lopez up here with the Gomez boys? You see Mr. Luis Fernando Lopez associated with Willie Valero? Haha, <laughs> it's like they obsessed. Yeah, man, you get bagged with a couple of punks. That's like you're associated with them for the rest of your life. 5-0's dumb, fucking useless, bro. I want the crime's out of control in this city. I can think of a few other reasons, too. Speaking of crime, bro, what the fuck are we doing here? Yeah, Enrique got a new package. Shit's good enough for us to start seriously stepping on shit and making some real profit. Product, then profit, then pussy. P, P, P. That's how it works, bro. Sure it does, Rike. And you remind me why I'm coming along on a motherfucking dope deal? I don't touch that shit no more, man. I got a legitimate source of income. Chill out, bro. We just having a final meet with the guy to smooth out some details. It would really help if we had a respectable punk like you along. Yo, this is just for appearances, right? You sure? Yo, sure, I'm sure. Just for appearances. We shaking hands with the man is all. Nothing incriminatory. Fuck, bro. Okay, okay. Only because I love you guys. You should know that. Shit, Mondo, you right. What? The big queen really has groomed this fool. He gay, 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 gay. <laughs> ah, fuck you, bro. Strap up, bros. 
an auto shoddy, and some grenades for peace of mind. Yeah, I'd like to see how you guys strap up when you think the exchange ain't gonna be civil. Papi, what's up, man? Hey, 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 what's uh, good? Chilling, bro. I ain't. Papi, what's up? What up, baby? Yo, but who's this clown right here? Yo, be easy, bro. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is Luis Lopez. He's our boy. Yo, you gotta say my name, bro. Luis, you don't gotta worry about shit. Papi's a businessman, legit. He's our connection, bro. Joris package in town. You know, I got that raw, baby. You already know. <laughs> to a fruitful relationship. Uh, uh, uh. uh. Oh, the bitch. Dealer, dealer. Oh, oh, it's gone. Oh! Oh, oh, you know yo, what the fuck? That sounds... Oh, yo, you motherfucker, you shut me up, huh? You will follow, right? Yo, yo we wasn't... Were you back? What's, What's going on? Crazy, What's man? going on? They must have got on our phone. Yo, fuck that, you fucking amateurs. I'm out of here, man. for that package of yours. Whole load of work for nothing, bro. Fuck. Oye, Mando, you gotta be careful with them phones, man. People are onto that shit. That jingo is a Mac, but that shit means they can pretty much read your thoughts now and get away with it. Thanks for the lecture, Professor. I didn't know a two-year stretch qualify you to teach Street Life 101. Oh yeah, I ain't lecturing you. I'm just looking out for my boys. Ain't that what you do at them clubs of yours? He looks out for boys in tight denim shorts. Oh, wow. We back there again? Luis, bro. You want us to come downtown to lecture you on interior decoration? Or boulevard musicals? Or sucking cock? I don't think you do. Oh, yeah, sabe que? Now that you mention it, I could do with some dick sucking lessons. I hear you nailed your technique on the last bit of state, eh? We was just close friends. Whatever anyone told you is fucking bullshit, man. Fucking bullshit! He's a good guy, got three kids. I think we hit a nerve. Someone misses their cellmate. Oh, yeah. Fuck you! Both of you! I don't see why you guys are giving me shit. You was the ones who asked me to come along on this thing. We asked you along to look pretty. We didn't know shit was gonna fuck up. Yeah, well, shit did fuck up. And I nearly got killed. So I think I earned the right to be hurt for a second. Oh, Luis got his panties in a twist. Speak your piece, bro. Look, as you say, I ain't I an thought expert you was a driver, shit, man. But I do run a business. Take it easy, you bro. Call shit, do you? Where's the money, then? You're gonna listen to me or what? You're never gonna get anywhere if you guys are the ones selling on the corner. There's enough chumps out there to do that work for you. Just get involved in the high-level shit, man, and never talk on the motherfucking phone. That's all well and good, bro. But selling in our issue is getting hold of product. What are you talking about, man? There's product all over the city. Just take it off, motherfuckers. Steal that shit? They ain't exactly gonna call up 5-0, are they? You could be right, bro. Other than this shipment we being paid to oversee, there ain't nothing else coming in for us. We might just have to start ripping people off. You gonna help us? Mira, loco. I don't know. I could do with the money, but you boys is clowns. Luis back on board, bro. I know it. You know, I hate to ask this now, you all Johnny Lawful and shit, but me and Enrique are gonna need to do some serious work if we're gonna maintain shit on these streets. We could use someone we could trust. Mira, pana, you know I said I wouldn't get involved in that no more. I'll have to think about it, bro. Thanks, Luis. We'll see you soon, yeah? Ay, muchachos, tan con... Qué rico, Mrs. L. Thank you, Mrs. L. Mami, it's me. Ah, hello, baby. Hola, mami, ¿cómo está? Yo, yo, what's up, man? Hey, what's up, man? Ay, Dios mío, mami, pero qué es esto? You always taking care of the down and outs. Hey. I mean, it's a beautiful thing, but you gotta let them into the house. Aw. These are my boys, baby, just like you. I watch them grow up. Yeah, well, apparently your boys and your real son got some work to do. So, ladies, we got to roll. Come on, let's go. Mrs. L, you still the best cook I know. 
Vamos, vamos. Here you go, mommy. Take this, okay? Take care. I gotta go. Take okay? care. You take care, son. Dealing drugs, people getting killed, nightclubs. You take care. Go to school. We go somewhere. It's not too late, my baby. I mean, but you got it all wrong. I mean, it's not like that anymore, you know? I, I know good people, I know bad people, you know? But I know the difference. I mean, I know I made mistakes, but things are better now. I mean, how many times we gotta go over this? If things are better now, then why are you always like this? Right, but you take the money, right? You take the fucking money every time. Get out of my house. All what right. choice do I have? I lost my job. Yeah, well, call one of the other kids, the one you ain't ashamed of. Heading to the docks in Bohan. Yo, man, you gotta let up on your mom. Oh, yeah, they're oigo. But, bro, she rides me too hard, man. Hanging downtown made you forget who you is, El. What you mean? I mean, you a fucking Dominican. All Dominican mamas ride their e-hoes like that. You think me and Rika don't get shit too? <laughs> Damn right. Enrique's mama wants his ass to go to college someday. Fool who couldn't even spell SAT, let alone GED. I doubt he can even spell ABC. Only thing I can spell is B B D A. <laughs> Your sister taught me that. Ha <laughs> yeah, ha. I believe it, bro. She was always a save the world, special needs helping type girl. Special needs to jump on my dick. Your boy's gonna tell me what's happening here. Yo, we doing some contract work. Getting paid to escort a shipment for some people. That gonna be some unruly shit, bro. We need us another set of eyes. There are gonna be too many people under our purview to cope on our own. And considering your experience as a man manager, we thought... You the supervisor at two successful businesses. This is your forte. Okay, okay, enough of the flattery. I'll help you guys. This is the place. They're bringing the stuff in off that boat. We're gonna bring it up here to get in these cars. Then all we gotta do is get them back to the heights. Easy peasy. I got these cats. H, take Luis and watch the guys by the boat. Damn, Enrique. That shit was fucked up. Fucked up? What are you talking about, bro? That was some of the most successful shit I participated in. Successful? Shit, bro. I know you're slow, but you can't have failed to notice them hoods trying to rip us off back there. You mean them motherfuckers we took down? Yes, them motherfuckers. Precisely. That's just the way things is in the business. Bro, we walked away with the shit. We get it back home, and we're gonna be paid. It's a mad success for us. Diablo, you guys work hard for your money. Only way to work. Nah, bro. You don't need to work this hard. It's just the only way you know about. Me. We don't all got what you got, El. I ain't got your looks. I ain't got your brains. All I got is my guts, my gun, and Armando. Hey, you got me too, bro. Don't forget about that. Luis, I love you, bro. But you part-time. Life up here keeps going when you off with them rich people. Thanks for your help, bro. Yeah, I guess my shooting was more important than my man management skills on this business trip. For real? We gonna get paid, bro. Give us a call, okay? Yeah, dude. Let's hang. <laughs> hey, Lou! <laughs> Swiss. Yeah, whatever. Come here, give me some love right here. <laughs> so what'd you want? Tony said you needed a favor. Well, I look like a charity case to you. Can I plead the fifth on that one? Ah, oh, that's, that's funny. You're funny. Yeah, you're fucking funny. Funny for a guy with all those pecs. She got the lats of a little girl. And, man, you need calf implants. Look at you. And, you know, I'm guessing just, just from looking at you, you ain't exactly packing a 10-inch hose, man. Me? <laughs> I make girls wince. Ah, oh, wince. Oh. Just to level with you for a minute, bro. Tony owes you money. Tony's my boss and my friend. 
so I'll help you out a little. But if you mention my host again, I'll put you in the fucking ground. Jesus Christ, man. You pent up. Come on, I didn't mean anything by it. I apologize. All right, look, let's rewind. We'll restart. We'll relax. Huh? Come here. Page one. Give me a hug. Huh? Give me a hug. <laughs> That's it. Now, where were we? Oh, well, if it isn't my brother the ghost. Rory, what are you doing here, bro? And who's this guy? It's Lou. It's Luis. Right. Well, it's nice to see you, too, little brother. Jesus, you look pale. What, did somebody die? Unfortunately not, man. What are you doing here, Maury? I am thinking about moving back home. Uh, you see, I've been hearing some stories about you getting somewhat uh, above yourself. And I'm worried about you. Well, stop, stop, don't worry about me, man. I'm fine, okay? I'm gonna be just fucking fine. Jesus, who is training you? Man ought to be horsewhipped. Look at you. You're, 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 you're lumpy. Oh. You look at Awful, like a, a big, pale mess. And you're fat, bro. <laughs> you're fat. <laughs> Screw you, Maury, man. You're... 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 you Perfect? Yeah. <laughs> Chiseled, tan, handsome. I'm the dream ticket. Yeah, Mom always warned me that you were a lazy kid. I bet you've been juicing. Of course I haven't. Me do. Ugh. No, no, no. Yeah, I smell it on you. Fear. <laughs> but I'm back now, baby B. I'm b b b b b b back. Oh. And your life just got fun again. <laughs> Come on, Lou. Let's roll. Oh, and, uh, fat boy, you better let your friends know about me. Because kibbutz number one... <sighs> is back in town. And this time... Dun 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 It's kosher! <laughs> See ya! Wouldn't wanna be ya! Bag! <laughs> Chase point when you are ready! Engage! <laughs> You fox! What you need done, Maury? Oh, we got some very intense shit to handle. Yeah, I'm hoping you mean you got some boxes to move. Something like that. That's about as intense as I'm willing to get for you. Wow! It's incredible! He looks like a man, but he talks like a pussy. Maury, man, you're a business guy, so you should stick to your business shit. Don't get involved in stuff that's out of your league because of some small man syndrome that makes you overcompensate. Whoa, whoa, there's nothing small about what I got going on, Lopez. Well, you need me to take out the monster? I'll whap that shit on a dashboard and see what you think of it. Yo, yo, you'll think it suddenly got dark in here. I'm talking serious block the sun shit. Oh, nah. Hey, just don't hold me responsible for your inadequacy issues after that, huh? Oh, oh don't take nothing out, bro. Keep it to yourself. Keep the monster away from me. And listen to what I'm saying. This shit comes from the heart, okay? I don't want to see you getting in over your head. For a man of your height, that's got to be easy to do. Whoa, whoa, slow up, dog. I think you're mistaken in your impression of me. I look like a civilian to you. You look like a lot of things, bro. A lot of neurosis in one tiny package. Kind of like an army knife without the edge. You think because of my lumpy little brother that I don't swing on the dark side? Hey, I never said you weren't a swinger, man. Come to think of it, you might have seen you on one of them west sites. All right, enough with the jokes. Look, I done three years Israeli military. I seen shit you wouldn't even believe. Yeah, I done three years helping to run Hercules. I seen shit you wouldn't believe. Hey, how many guys got the juice to get into some foreign legion shit when they're 18? You were probably still sucking on your mama's titty at that age. I was doing time, bro. And leave my mama out of it. Things I saw over there were insane, dog. Insane! I'd tell you about it, but then I'd have to kill you right here. I could do it, too, with my bare hands. Wouldn't even think twice about it. But I won't, Lou. I won't, because I like you. Eh. Special forces don't even begin to describe my shit. Special sounds about right to me. Look, I came back here after the service, and I changed, man. I changed. You think it's easy sitting down at Econ 101 when you've been icing fools? I wouldn't know, bro. Still got my 4.0, though, didn't I? Go, oh, give it up, right here. Yeah, good for you, bro. You want to send me a resume so we can skip all this personal history crap? No, I want you to understand, Luis, that I got the brain and the brawn, the meat and potatoes, 
NBA plus IDF equals do not fuck with this bitch. I got it all, brother. I can handle anything. Yeah, okay, fine, whatever. Remind me what we're doing now? We are paying a visit to some of my old, uh, business associates. We're gonna take over their operation. Clear those fucks out. Perfect. Just perfect. Another fucking war. Fuck yeah! you doing here, Maury? Oi vey, motherfucker! Dude, we told you we ain't in business with you no more. You're a rip-off merchant. <laughs> no more cooperation, my friends. It's hostile takeover time. Hand it over. Fuck you, Maury, you midget prick. You ripped us off for the last time. Let's get these fuckers! about you, Lou. Real fucking bullish. Good to know. Hey, you come by soon. We got some more shit to discuss. Hey, Steve! How are you, mate? It's so good to see you. Yeah, it's Luis. <laughs> How are you, Daisy? You never call me. Sorry, Leslie. Yeah, I'm great. Marvelous. Listen, have you got any coke? No, I'm sorry. <sighs> Not to worry, I don't need it. I'm more or less stopped doing it now. I only do it at night now. It's so good to see you, darling. How is darling Terry? You mean Tony? <laughs> I love that man. Just a shame, he's a pup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot of people say that about him. <laughs> anyway, I thought you said you were going back to London. Uh, I did? Yes, I did. <laughs> I came back. <laughs> I was actually just about to call you when my phone got stolen. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Huh? Well, I didn't know we were being filmed. Was only a fucking hand job. Oh, fucking cunt! What's wrong? Oh, my fiance. Shit! 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 What? Shit! You said that. Oh, my fiance. Fuck. Listen. Oh, when you say it out loud, it sounds really awful. And I'm not a slapper. A what? So, anyway, I was really drunk. But anyway, you know Chris Hunt? The gay action star? He's not gay. He's a virile man who takes an interest in personal grooming and likes gladiators. But, yes, he's probably a bender. So anyway, I got off with him, ended up getting taped, and now he's going to leak it online to prove he's straight. Now wake up! <laughs> the classic blind beer. Oh, and if my fiance finds out, I'll be buggered. Oh, please, please, darling, I need your help. Fine. Oh, come on, let's go. Oh, I wish we had some coke. We need to find this twat. Fuck. You don't know where he is? He's always on that bloody bleater website. Wait till he bleeds, and then we should be able to find him. Show me that. His last bleed says he's taking a crap looking over Middle Park. We're gonna head uptown. What is it? He's bleating. Marcus asked me if I hang left or right, and I told him to find out for himself. 
What could that possibly mean? I think he's getting his inner seam measured at a tailor. All Chris's suits are made by that darling little man. First he is. We should go there. He's getting his tailor to check his Johnson. And you say this guy ain't gay? All I know is I wanked him off, okay? I mean, you and I had sex, and you're a bit fruity, so it wouldn't exactly be a first. You say so. Oh, sugar, that's sweet, but a girl knows. <laughs> then maybe I've been hanging out with Tony too long. Or maybe it's you. Is your fiancé gay too? Is that like a fetish for you? Oh, Bertie's had some flings. But he's pretty much 70% hetero, as much as any privately educated Brit can be. Your private schools are like our prisons, then. I wouldn't know about that, sweetheart. But if you're speaking communal showers and anxious fumblings in the meadow, then perhaps. <laughs> Another bleat! Oh, bugger! Missed him, did we? Apparently his fingers haven't smelled this fishy since he last crossed over. Good for him. He must be a squid row. That budget seafood place. He loves slumming it there for some reason. Yo, okay. Worst case scenario, the video comes out. You lay low for a while. Maybe get a reality TV show. The new American dream. Just what I want. Mummy and Daddy would be so proud. Some other girls would kill to be in your position. Think of it that way. Enjoy the ride. Good for those tramps. I am a respectable woman. I've had two hundred thousand dollars spent on my education. Daddy's got a peerage. Ah, oh, it was Babe of the Month. For God's sake! I don't want to be famous for tossing up some sodomite. Jesus, I need some coke. Fuck! Your fucking Spanish gave me some. Cunting shit! He's posting another bleat. Apparently he's premiering his new movie in Star Junction. Star Junction it is, then. What movie is he premiering? I don't know. Something where he beats people up and pretends to be straight. Stand if I wish it, then. Pretty much. They've always been like that, haven't they? We can talk some sense into him. Chris, you cunting fuck! Hand over the tape! Too late, Dolly. You're gonna be famous. Check it! Oh my god! Is that my minge? He's ten feet high! You really just want to wank? <laughs> We're not twelve. Give me some digits too, baby. Three of them. Fuck, fuck! Who's gay now, bitches? See you later, babe. Couldn't have happened to a nicer person. Hey, man. Hey, bro. Tony in? Yeah. Maury, Maury, shit, no, no, Maury, Maury, no, I, I got the money, seriously, that's not the issue. No, I just want to make you happy. Is, is there anything else my team can do for you? No, we can do events, parties. <laughs> no, anything you like, just, just give it a think. All right, bye-bye. What a dick. What's up, T? Oh, I don't want to think about what's up. Come on, there's something I got to take care of. <laughs> hey, Mr. Tony! You remember me? Of course, of course. Uh, my business partner, Mr. Lopez. Yusuf Amir. What is up, homie? Not much. <laughs> hey, you guys want to join us maybe for a, a 
a bit of this or a bit of that? Ah, uh, we'd love to, but we gotta go deal with some business. Okay, good. Good seeing you. Yeah. Take care, huh? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. And uh, if you ever want to talk about franchising this place, huh, just give me a call. We will. We absolutely will. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. I'm in the mood, baby. Ya wallahi, ha, ha, wallahi, ha. Take this gun, Luis, just in case. Just in case? No, this is some sci-fi shit. Awesome. I know a guy who gave me a deal. What can I say? It helps to be prepared. What are we doing in Chinatown? Take a guess. Another job for that Rocco. Oh, yeah? And more on pal of yours. After what happened at the driving range, we still owe that brinkley fuck? I did a lot of dumb things in my life, Luis, but none of them were dumber than borrowing from those pricks. Really, though? Because you've done some real dumb things. I mean, you're still going out with Evan. This is serious. The fucking mafia. Even if we did have the money to pay them back, they wouldn't take it. They're gonna ride us into the ground. But you don't have the money, do you, Tom? Hey, what about that thing in London? That gonna pull us through this? Didn't I tell you? Shit, London ain't happening. And I wouldn't travel to that side of the pond anytime soon if you were thinking about it. Fuck, bro. Thanks for keeping me in the loop. Again. In that case, I guess my brother is in good hands. You take care of that prick. It seems the definition of family loyalty differs in your country. The marketplace has a value for everything, and I guess that a disloyal Jew bastard ain't worth shit to me, brother or no brother. Such are the heady joys of consumer capitalism. A system that's flaws are becoming increasingly evident. Ah, <laughs> that's right, I forgot. You little yellow people are commies too, huh? Both sides of the fence. You know, I grew up watching your kind getting killed on the TV. Hell of a show. I'm sure, but perhaps the show wasn't as much fun as the reality of that war. Hmm, perhaps not. Now I bid you farewell, sir, and don't do all that smack at once. On second thought, you know, go ahead. Do. Boo. Hey, watch it, you greaseball fuck. I apologize for our associate's uncouth manner. I can only say that our partnership with him is one of necessity, not volition. Please, you must be the famous Tony Prince. Ah, uh, notorious, maybe. This is Luis Lopez, my business partner. Hey. Mr. Pelosi has led me to expect much from this meeting. Ah, yeah, about that. Rocco has a tendency to promise more than he can deliver. So that must have been weaned too early. Yeah, we're not weaned at all. As you can see, we are already behind schedule on this project. We need you to... Uh, how do I put this? To uh, clear things with the planning department and to ease some licensing troubles. Hey, look, we're not lawyers, okay? We run nightclubs. Pretty badly, too. <laughs> we got enough trouble keeping the licenses on our own clubs, okay? We don't do licenses. Before I was being polite, Mr. Lopez, but I do not have to be. Mr. Pelosi made it clear that you are not in a position to choose who you help and who you do not. Yeah, well, that kid's got a big mouth, okay? And he ain't in no position to be writing checks for us, okay? We are not going to be able to help you. Period. Let's go, Tom. Sorry to waste your time, Mr. Um, you are not going anywhere until we have an arrangement. No, I'm afraid we are. There is no arrangement. You got a problem? Take it up with your boy Rocco. <laughs> you are not negotiating column inches and bar tabs, you insolent fuck! We are serious people! <laughs> really? Hmm. Yeah, really! <clears throat> what is wrong with you? I was supposed to be the irrational idiot with the anger issues. I got anger issues, okay? The guy threatens to shoot me because I can't arrange a liquor license for him. Please, give me a break, T. Oh, God. Oh, sh They're coming for us! Surrounded. You are right. Die! Tony, get over here. Oh, 
If we're smart. We were dumb enough to walk into the death trap for the kid. I doubt we're gonna pull brains out of our asses now. Leave it to me. You just concentrate on looking pretty. Yeah, absolutely, T. You've done such a great job so far. You're gonna call Rocco then? Rip him a new one? I got a feeling we ain't the only ones who'll be ripping him, Lou. God, I need my pills. Don't take that shit, T. I'm serious. Hello. Tommy! What's happening, man? Who's this? Beth, Yosef Amir, man. Who? The guy who wants to talk about franchising your club. Damn. Hey, those conversations are usually Tony's department. But Mr. Tony gave me your number. There are some other matters I need to discuss before we get down to the real shit. Hey, if Tony gave you my number, then it's okay, bro. Great! Come hang out at my apartment. It's right on the middle park. Prime location. One of the most exclusive in the city. Top dollar shit. You'll love it. Yeah, all right. I'll be by sometime. Just don't wait up. Don't. Luis, what's gotten into you? Why haven't you been helping out at the clubs? You serious, man? I've been running around the city getting shot at by assholes, doing hits for assholes, and hanging out with assholes so we can keep these places running. What else you expect me to be doing? Standards have slipped, Lou. We're dead without this revenue stream. Just keep an eye on things, okay? Desi's at Masonet every night. Just talk to him, and he'll explain everything. Okay, T. Put your feet up. Relax. Enjoy yourself. Hey, have you a light? Hey, sorry, Papi, I don't smoke. Ah, a Spaniard, wonderful, a man of culture. I'm not <laughs> sure someone from the heights qualifies as being Spaniard, but whatever. Oh, exactly, whatever, whatever you say, Daddy. Excuse me? What is wrong with you? The British, they give you this beautiful little, little awkward language, and you just debase it with whatever, or like, or fuck you, or get over yourself. In that <laughs> case, fuck you. Oh, c'est ça, on va faire foutre. Oh, who am I to complain? My country is not much better. We are the worst. My people watch American television and then they complain about it afterwards. Oh la la, I am rich! Uh, time was when we would chop someone's head off and we would run around the street with it on a stick. Vive la France! Now, we are soft and miserable just like you. Hey, I'm not miserable. Well, then clearly you do not watch enough television. <laughs> you enjoy the, the bright lights and the big cities and the hope that maybe one day you become rich and stupid and, and your people. Maybe you can make a nice little TV show with you and your friends. Hey, knowing my friends, I hope not. <laughs> well, I do not come to Liberty City uh, to watch television. I come to fuck and get high. What else is there? Well, I don't know. Family? I had a family. Meaningless. Honor? Psst. Don't make me puke. No, mon ami. I had to tell you, my friend. Nothing matters in this world apart from getting your rocks off. Or getting so out of it you don't realize you haven't got your rocks off. <laughs> I like a man who's so focused. <laughs> Have you got a car? I'm not sure I want to get into a car with someone like you. Oh, <laughs> relax, relax. Uh, let's go for a drive. I like you. Uh, you find things as, as ridiculous as me. Only sorry you will not join me in this adventure. Don't catch nothing, bro. Hello? 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 Hey, man! Hey, nigga! What's up? What's up? So glad you could make it, man. Seriously. Fucking A! You're for real, man. You're you okay, bro? No, I'm fine, man. I got a couple of bitches upstairs. Hot ones, not cheap. Nice. Hey, man, you want to join in? No, I'm cool, man. I'm cool. <laughs> yeah, of course. 
Oh, to be honest, anyway, after I finish with them, they'll be out of commission anyway. I'll bang them to pieces. After I finish with them, they'll look like they've been dragged through the fucking desert. <laughs> oh, wow, good for you, man, good for you. Listen, so, um, what do you want? <sighs> you see this city? I own it. Everything. Seriously. Really? No. But one day. I'm building 60 skyscrapers, man. Condos, penthouses, luxury apartments. Serious shit. But I tell you, oh man, oh I love this song. You know this song? Oh yeah. Hey, rap money. <laughs> hey, you know that? Now with dudes, bro. You see this city? I run it. I run everything. I'll show everyone. I mean, look at this shit here. This is a gold phone. Solid. Beat that, daddy yo. Wow, great, man. That's great. Hey, I'm the real deal, nigga. I'm the real fang. Sure, bro. Sure. So what do you say? You gonna help me out? Tony says you can handle yourself. Maybe, man. What do you need? I need to shut my fucking father up. Oh, I ain't killing your father, bro. No, I know you're not. I needed to get a helicopter for him. You know? And I found it. It's a military issue. Beautiful machine. Sexy. The company that built it, they have a display model on their boat. And that will shut him up. You know, show him I've got good connections, you know, and uh, pay him the respect he deserves. Is that porn playing up there, bro? No, man. That's real women. Trust me. And I ain't paid shit. Okay, so... You want me to get you a helicopter, and that'll make your dad happy. Mm. You better be the real deal, man. You know, I tell Tony that we work together, huh? I'm going to make you both very rich men. We'll open up nightclubs all around the world. China, Pakistan, Timbuk fucking too, anywhere you want. But you know what this means? You and I, we are brothers. We're partners. Okay. Give me a call when you get there. Now I've got to attend to some business. Ladies! Prepare to suffer! Awwahi! Call this little baby the buzzard! She will pick the bones of your enemies clean.
What's happening, boss? You've been hanging out with people behind my back? I've been trying to make us some money. Yeah. You have anything to do with a little boating accident that went down and is all over the news? Me? I don't even like swimming. Good, because the people on that boat were good people. Freedom fighters trying to stop people smuggling in Asia. Really? I heard there was... shit, I... I heard... No, I'm shitting with you. They were armed smugglers, hitched to some of the worst governments in West Africa. But I had you. I fucking had you. You fucking idiot, Luis. Don't turn into a freedom fighter. We don't have the luxury of that right now. And stop going solo on me. Not now. I wasn't involved, eh? Of course not. But if I had been, it would have been for us. For the business. Sure. You be careful, Luis. <laughs> What's up, man? Hey, what's up, Troy? Tony inside? No, he's not here yet. Uh, did you talk to him? Who? Tony, about me. What about you? About me working here, man. I can't do it no more. I ain't queer, and it's doing my head in. Bro, you work for a guy whose nickname since 1985 is Gay Tony. Why do you give a fuck? Because I want to be married, man. You know, I want to have a nice life. I want to pick a fence in Alderney. I want to raise kids, play ball, you know? And look at me. Bro. I don't know what to tell you, man. Desi's the man of Mason, okay? This is the job we got for you. If you don't like it, fuck off, I guess. If you do, shut the fuck up and stop being a moron. Don't be like that, man. You know me. I'm an artist. I've got songs in me. Hello? Maybe if Tony could hear me sing, yeah, thanks. I, 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 I'd yeah. be okay here. It's me. You're the fucking doorman, bro, not the cabaret. What's wrong with you? You're real tense, man. And you used to be cool. Hey, Troy! Hey, how's business? Luis, come on, let's go. Uh, pretty quiet. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> what is wrong with you people? Don't you know a good time when you see one? Jesus, when even the queens don't want to get wrecked, you know this city is turning into a fucking suburb! All right, Luis, get in the car. Gracie, sweetheart, in the back. Tony, can I have a word? No! No. Let's go. Can you take us out to Gracie's house? It's on Babbage Drive. Please. Hey, babe. How are you? Hey, yo, Gracie. What's up? Tone, what the fuck is it with Louise? I mean, he'll try to bang anything with a pussy, but it's Mr. Lipstick when I'm around. I don't know. Maybe it's your charming turn of phrase or your demure, almost nun-like manner. What is up with that, Luis? Sorry, Gracie. You're my type. So can you let me be a limp dick in peace? Having a pussy is your type, Lou. Tell me what's wrong with you. There ain't nothing wrong with you. You're like really loud with that. Please, fuck you. Hey, look. I stopped dealing with monster brats after Danny Lupicella tried to get her daddy to cut my balls off. Call me an asshole. But that was it for me. Oh, 
I know where you're coming from. The shit I got into after my night of indiscretion with Roy Cito. Oh, trying to claim my strength is true. Roy sees a homo? He ain't a very good one. I never would have guessed it. Yeah, well, they don't wear a label on their head. Oh, look at this bitch behind the wheel. Tony, your extreme queeniness is starting to rub off on the employees. Look, Gordon. Oh, what are we doing out of Gracie's house? We're paying a visit. Shit, don't we got other problems right now? Come on. Now that you mention it, there is another issue. That fucking nevish, the celebinator. Oh my god, I just love that guy's blog. Well, that guy's blog don't love us. What happened? He's talking shit like it's going out of fashion. So what? He thinks he's the only guy with a mouth on the fucking internet? This is something we don't need right now. Oh, no one comes to our summer party in the caraways. Chill out, bro. First of all, the summer's a long way off. And second, we shouldn't be having no party in the caraways with our financial situation. This guy could sink us. Listen to him, Lou. The Celebinator is real influential. Relax, bro. We'll send them a basket. It'll be cool. It's fucking blackmail with these guys. He got left off a list somewhere, so it's our livelihoods at stake. Yo, all right. I'll check him out. What's his site? I'll send you a link. Will you drop us off and go through it now? But that means Louise won't be able to see the inside of my place. Oh, well, in that case, I'll definitely do it now. Shit, Lou. Need? Another time. Oh, yeah, sure, babe. Some other time. Thanks, Luis. Call me when you've emailed that dreadful blogger. Luis, how do you like his sight? Who the fuck does that guy think he is? What? You seen the picture you and me that motherfucker put up there? Yo, that asshole's gotta be taken care of. You're meant to be the rational one here, Luis. Look, I'll see what I can do about it. I'll be in touch. You tell him I don't care. A, bi a billion dollars is chump change. What does a billion dollars buy anyway today? Doesn't even buy a million dollars. No, you tell him that. You tell him Yusuf Amir is speaking. That name does mean something in this town. One second, hello, excuse me. Hello? Hello, who is this? Papa! Uh, Papa, how are you? Yes, Papa, yeah, it's a present. It's a gift. Oh, no, you didn't pay for it, I did. Well, I didn't pay for it, so you didn't. But Papa, it's, 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 it's complicated. I miss you, Papa. I do. Yes, I'm close to closing the deal. The biggest tower. You're going to be so proud of me. Well, ten million dollars is maybe a little bit too much to spend in a month, but it, oh, it was necessary. No, Papa, no, no, that's not fair. No, 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 that... Papa, they're not prostitutes. <laughs> they're loose women. Papa, Papa, hello, Papa. Hey, it's you, my friend. How you doing? How you doing? What's up, Papa? Trouble with your old man? <sighs> no. It's my father. Uh, okay. Yeah, family can be tough, man. Oh, he's a very conservative man. He doesn't understand what I'm doing here. He thinks my life is one long party. <sighs> a reckless orgy of sex, drugs, and spending. <laughs> really? <clears throat> he's deluded. I think I work my fingers to the bone. To the bone! You know, last week, I got exhausted test driving sexy cars. I had to fly to Vice City and bang bitches for two weeks just to recover. I'm a workaholic, man. A workaholic, homie. Yeah, evidently. And now I have to meet Ahmed and his brother to take a business meeting. And I, mean, I love those guys, they're like family, but oh, God, it's going to exhaust me. How's that? These guys, they're always going on about how rich they are. There's the money here, the money there. You know what they are, Luis? I'll level with you. They're very, um, what's the word, um, tacky. No taste. I mean, I love those guys, but seriously, come on. Okay, well, I, I guess I'll see you later then. No, 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 no. Hey, you're coming with me, baby. You need to hang around. You gotta act like we're friends. Shit. We are friends, baby. Make out that we got shit going down. Going down, my nigga. Anyway, <clears throat> let's go. Let's bounce, baby. When I say bounce, I don't mean... Bouncing, literally, I just mean... I, I know what it means, Yusuf. It's a term hey. from the street, meaning you have yeah. to walk. <clears throat> but if you don't get that, it's a bit like uh, roll with me. You have to roll with me. You're not, not like a fat man rolling. It means can, actually can just walk. Can we just walk. go? What is this? Head over to Rotterdam Tower, me brethren. Hey, man, let's go. I have a special...
special gift, Luis. An auto shotgun with explosive shells. If this don't come in handy now, it might later. Thanks, bro. I'll just hit Ahmed up on my burner, man. Make sure shit is going now. Yo, Ada, what's up? Tell those bitches at Rotterdam, theirs ain't gonna be the tallest tower for long. Yusuf's in town, baby. And your shit about to be inadequate. Yeah, shit, I'm coming, man. Chill the F out. What are you so head up about? Papa ain't in town, is he? Oh, thank goodness. It's not Papa. I can't think why you are so agitated. Calm down, will you? I'll see you in a moment. I don't have a good feeling about this. Ahmed is not himself. Very fucking weird. Do you mind going up to the observation deck and checking it out? See what's going down. Ahmed, <laughs> Lewis, my man, where's Yusuf? What's going on, bro? What do you mean? What's going on? Chill, homeboy. <laughs> Look at the real estate. The Enjoy. Yusuf, you said he'd be here. Yeah, what's wrong with you, man? Yo, what's going on? He knows we're in the shit. What do I know? I, I, I thought it's chill, man. Shit! Tell me what I just walked into. Shit! Shit! Tell me. Please, what are you doing? I'm sorry. Stop! Shit! Fuck you! No! Man, this town is full of degenerates. It's a long, long way down. Yo, man, what these dudes assholes know? Stay away from me! Stay away from me! Talk to me now, Ahmed! Get away from me, you crazy motherfucker! soon after. Oh, whatever do you mean? Dude took a dive down to sea level, bro. Motherfuckers set you up with the noose so they could take your business. I cannot believe it. They were brothers to me. I, I, I would have brought them anything they wanted. Sometimes, bro, money ain't enough. I have a deep sadness in me, Luis. Will you join me, please? For an orgy of champagne, cocaine, women, watermelons, and whatever else this city may have to offer. We must forget them. You're gonna have to do the forgetting by yourself, man. I got a lot of other business to deal with. I'll see you around, man, okay? Hella, living, love, hella, then shoulders. We're getting air up money. We're getting air up money. Ho! 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 And again, let's go. Hey, bro. Nigga! Yo, uh, this is uh, Jonel. As uh, Jonel, nigga. I think you want to moderate your use of the word, bro. It's not fucking cool, all right? Listen, are we gonna do this or what? I'm on the fucking clock, man. Chill, baby. Get into it. Feel it. Let's go. Ho. Yo, what's wrong with you, man? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with me, homeboy. I'm going to build the biggest fucking building in this fucking town. The biggest. 
my name will go down in history. Yeah, I don't doubt that, man. What you want? Well, I heard from a friend that we can get some real hardware. A bit like the chopper, but better partner. Better. Yeah, I don't think I can handle any more of that shit, partner. Mm. I'm talking something seriously intense. How about a mother fucking noose tank? Give it up, bro. Come on. Come on. Hey, what you need a noose tank for, man? What are you, crime fighting now? I want it. Come on, baby. You and me doing our tank thing. Just rolling like some desert storm niggas. Huh? Ooh, uh, Chinese person. Bye-bye, nigga. <laughs> you fucking ridiculous, man. Hey, man. Money, is it money? Is that money you want? Here, here, have it. But come on, let's go get this thing. Come on, come on, baby, get up, come on. Let's go again, to the left. And we got A-Rap money. Come on, baby. We got A-Rap money. Yusuf. Oh, Papa. What are you doing here? Welcome. Welcome, Papa. Uh, this is my business associate, uh, and, um, uh, Mr. Uh, Luis. Mr. Uh, Mr. Luis. Allah, he is the greatest uh, technical advisor in the whole city. And uh, this is his wife, John This. <clears throat> Careful, motherfucker. Uh, yes, and uh, you know, we were Yo. just having a little right. creative meeting, and things were a bit crazy, and uh, I somehow lost my pants. <laughs> but you know, Papa, I tell you, you are looking. You're looking very well, in fact. I knew how disgraceful you were, but I didn't realize quite how shameful you were. No, Papa. <laughs> Things are not how they look. <laughs> Things do not look good, son. Don't judge a book by its cover, Father. That's what you taught me. When a book is called guns, drugs, hookers, and no pants, I think I don't need to read it. Well, Papa, you know, these people, they mean nothing to me. In fact, they're just going, go, get out. You, Mr. Lewis, take your wife, Mrs. Lewis. And may I say, madam, this is not a very uh, uh, appropriate way for a married woman to dress. I told them many times, father, this is a disrespectful way to dress. Do they listen to me? Yeah, no, never. And you, by the way, I'll text you uh, in about one minute about the tank, okay? The news tank? Shh, go and leave right now. Don't you dare come back without knocking uh, 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 first. These people are a disgrace, Papa. But I tell you, moving swiftly on, you will be very proud of my plans. I want to show you for the Imperial Amir Towers. I tell you, Papa, magisterial doesn't do justice to it. <coughs> Yusuf? Luis, I think I can give old Papa that slip. Meet me in Star Junction. Really, bro? I'm coming, Dada. Just hold on. See you soon, my friend.
Hey, Lou, come on in. Hang on one second. Check mate. See ya! <laughs> Little thicko never went to college. I never got into an Ivy League school. I got into two! Yeah! <laughs> come on, let's get out of here. Algonquin heliport. Come on, hit it. We gonna find them. So, I got a proposition for you, Louis. It's Louis, bro. It'll be little Louis if I want it to be. You still owe me money, so you're still my bitch. Man, Tony, you owe me, bro. They can be hang out with this jackass. Now listen to me. I got a wager. I ain't having no muscle misery contest, bro. You ain't into that creepy shit. No, my jackhammer would crush the shit out of you, bitch. No, 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 no. I'm talking a fair bet. Calculated risk. What's on the line then? You terrifyingly insecure midget? Well, how about everything Tony owes me? And I promise to get out of your life if you win. Yeah, that sounds too good to be true, bro. What happens if I lose? I get everything. You're rolling with me full time, hombre. Buddies for life. Wow. All or nothing, eh? Heavenly peace? Lifetime of being tortured by some hellish imp. Shit is tough. Calculated risk. What are you gonna do? Okay, so what are we betting on? It's a race, you fucking pussy. All around the city, only for serious high roller cats. Choppers, boats, cars, and, and everything in between. So all I gotta do is win that, and you out of our lives? In theory, yes. But that ain't gonna happen, dog. Cause I never lost it, nothing in my own life. Maybe that's because I had a brother as pathetic as little B. Maybe it is because I am the S-H-I-T, bitch. Yeah, you shit, all right. Now, if you do win, in which you won't, you just gotta help me with one more thing, and then all your contractual obligations are released. Yeah, here's to that. Luis, you're gonna get your ass handed to you, you bitch. I don't like your chances, big man. Man, that's gotta be an expensive race for you. Bullshit, man. Someone must have sabotaged me or something. No, shit, no, I wanted to lose. You think Tony's cash means shit to me? I got other investments. Yeah, good for you, Tiny. So, um, do we gotta see each other again? I told you, Louie, one more job. I got some cars to procure, and you're gonna help me. Come by Brucey's and we'll hit it. Yeah, all right, bro. I gave my word. 32! 33! Thirty... Oh, come on! Ah! Come on, one more! Come on! Ah! Screw you, Morty! Why do you gotta be such a cock? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, fuck you, Morty! Fuck me? <laughs> fuck me? You can't fuck me, baby B. Name one thing you have ever been able to fuck me at. One thing! Huh? I lift more weights. I fly better choppers. 
I have better cars, I screw better women. Hell, I screw women. My bling ain't CZ, and my paper ain't a photocopy. What's up, Lou? So again, one! Hey, Maury, I gotta side with your brother on this one, man. I mean, you're fucking annoying. I mean, I work in nightclubs, I hang out with gangsters. I meet assholes 24 hours a day. But you, you take the cake, man. Oh, jeez, oh, I'm sorry. Sorry that I'm trying to toughen up my little bro here. My little bro who I love more than life itself. And you think that you can interfere with that? You know, I think maybe you're taking the tough love thing a little too far, man. I mean, I got sent to juvie when I was 17 years old for shooting a teacher who felt up my sister. They tried the tough love thing with me. It didn't fucking work too well. So maybe try a different fucking approach. You know what? I think you might be right. Come on, baby B. Let's hug it out. Yeah? Let's hug it out. Okay! I love you. <laughs> I love you. I do. I love you. It's just the truth is I'm... I'm jealous. I am. I'm jealous. I'm jealous that, that you... are dating such a wonderful guy as Lou here. It's Luis. Whatever! I'm only kidding! Come on! J Jesus, you guys are a couple of pent-up queens, I swear! Come on! Let's go have some fun, huh? You too, B. Come on, stop sulking. Jesus, you pathetic. <laughs> I love you, but you are such a pussy. Come on! Yeah, we got some cars waiting at the top of Middle Park, bro. Hey, I got a gift for you bitches. Some headsets, so I can tell you what to do later. Hey, Brucey, bro, it's good to hang with you. I'm really happy you're along on this ride. Maury, bro, are you a fucking with me? Come on, little B. Hey, what do you take me for? It's good to have Lopez along, too, right? Hey, the three amigos. <laughs> Yo, two men and a little cunt. Ah, <laughs> yeah, you hear that, Brucey? He called you a little cunt. Yeah, I wasn't talking about him, bro. Don't bring down a positive energy, Lopez. Me and my brother are having fun today. Yeah, man, we are. We should do this more often, bro. Oh, B, shit. Before I forget, there's this email that I got that I thought you'd be interested in. Holy oh, yeah? Holy. What's that? Well, you see, it's this doctor. He's a fucking genius. Yeah, he says he's made this pill that is gonna sort out that penis problem you got. Yeah. Fuck off, Maury. I thought you were being cool, bro. No, no, I am, bro. I swear it. No, this guy can extend your hose by at least two to three inches. They call me an asshole, but I can really psyched if my bro was bagging up four-inch punch. How's that for cool? Shut up, Maury. The one thing you do got going for you is those roid ravaged beans in your sack. Yeah, anything would look big hanging next to those peanuts, right? Huh? Am I right? Shut the fuck up, Maury! <laughs> oh, pathetic! You see this guy, Lopez? What did I tell you? No, I don't know, bro. I tend to stop listening when you open your mouth. Remind me again what you paid for that place in Broker, Brucey. Huh? Oh, and a garage, too. How much did you pay? I don't want to talk about it. And the hell? Oh, yeah, yeah. What are those properties worth now? <laughs> I said I don't want to talk about it, okay? Shit! You see? What did I tell you, Lopez? Overexposed like a stripper in Fleet Week. Only thing more useless than that little pecker of his is his portfolio. Ain't that right, Brucey? Hey, leave him alone, Maury. You're even more annoying than usual. Ah, here's our guy with the cars. Hey, you chumps could learn a thing or two here. Hey, buddy, thanks for the tip-off. Here you go. Huh? Oh, thanks, bro. Hey, don't go spend that all in one place, chump. All right, people. Money talks, and idiots walk. Give me up with a ride, Luis. Watch that thing. Here, have fun.
as you can see, shit from your last target position, Morgan. We're coming down heavy, bro. Did you see little Lou here, though? He started shitting his panties when the cop showed up. <laughs> hey, check it out, Brucey. You know, I think Lou here might be even slightly bigger pussy than you. <laughs> we're done, right? I mean, we're squared? You got your cars now, so now I don't have to sit here and listen to your tiny man bullshit. <laughs> sure, sure, Lou, sure, 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 you could go. If you're as dumb as you look. Ooh. Excuse me? You got an opportunity here. Look at me, look at me. Watch my lips move. I can teach you things. Come on, think apprentice, think uh, intern, minion, yeah, think uh, squire boy. You, following me all around, learning to become a business mastermind. No more clubs, no more Tony Queen. You, my friend, could be free. <laughs> Maury, is this a joke, man? I mean, you're the guy that needs to learn something. Oh. Shit, you're awful, bro. I mean, maybe someone can teach you the most basic human behavior. Brucey, please, do this guy a favor. Brucey? Me? Yeah, you're the guy in the family with some manners. Whoa. You think that I could learn something from little B here? The marshmallow man. More. This pale piece of turd. All right, cut yeah. it out, M. Huh. Man is nothing but beyond right. pathetic. That's it, boy! Cut it out! Yeah! Yeah! Are yeah. you kidding? Yeah! <laughs> Sorry, Maury, I forgot, man. Never, never in the face. Oh, come on. This is, this is top work up here. You know that I got a weakened septum. Okay. Oh, just, just, just don't tell Mom, okay? Okay? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Just, you're gonna take me home. <laughs> yeah, shit, okay, yeah, shit. Come on, let's go. Okay, okay, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Hey, I'll see you ladies later, okay? Yeah, uh... Uh, I'll see you at the club or something. Okay. <laughs> I heard something. Oh, here she comes. Watch out, boy. She'll chew you up. Oh, here she comes. She's a man eater. Oh, here she comes. Watch out, boy. She'll chew you up. Oh, here she comes. She's a man eater. What's your problem, man? Where's Tony? Where's Tony? Where's Tony? What's wrong with... Hi, Evan, you're looking cut. Hi, Evan, like a drink? Hi, Evan, if I wasn't straight, I'd ravage you right now. Evan, where's Tony? He said meet him here. <sighs> Who cares about fucking Tony? The man's a neurotic. He's back on drugs, he's looking old, he refuses to get any work done, and... P.S. <laughs> the man's a wreck. Then break up with him for the last time and fuck off out of all of our lives, please. <sighs> wow, somebody's got his sister's underwear on by mistake. Ay, Dios mío. Evan, look. I always thought that even for a coke push and steroid junkie, you were a particular asshole. Okay, I'm just gonna admit that. Now, would you shut the fuck up before I shut you up? Now, where's Tony? He's in the bedroom. <sighs> hey, Tony, get up. Ah, piss off. Come on, get up, man. Let's go. <clears throat> ah, piss off. I wanna die. Okay, man, if that's how you want it. Yeah, come on. Ah! Oh, 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 oh,
Come on. Let's go. Better? Go, oh, great. Come on, puppy. Let's go. This way. This way. What? Come on. Oh, come on, fuck this. Let's go. Let's do it. Oh, so we have something to take care of. I ain't having you screw up. I should have let your parole officer put you back in prison all those years ago. You're a degenerate. What about me? You guys can't just leave me here. Uh, yeah, good point. Oh. Ah! Now, fuck off, Evan. You getting the pills. Be gone before I get back. Let's go, buddy. Come on, you got it. Let's go. Oh, I'm good. Fucking Adderall! Oh, wait, 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 wait. What? I, I forgot something. Forgot what? The, the, the explosives. Explosives? Explosives? Yo, what's wrong with you, man? You want a nightclub, not a terror cell. Ow, Rocco's gone nuts. He's gonna burn the clubs down for insurance. He's gonna fucking kill us. Yeah, he's gone crazy, and you're running around with some bombs, okay? What kind of drugs do you want? I hope they're strong. I told him I'd take care of his union problems for him. It, it's, uh, it's the only way out. Either that or they kill me. Yeah, I wish you'd talk to me about this first, man, okay? Blowing shit up ain't exactly your side of the business, okay? It's Please. not your forte. What do you care about the business? You got your, your fucking head in the clouds, huh? You think you're a big shot. You're a nothing, and soon you're gonna be a dead nothing. Yeah, no doubt, boss. Now where are you going? Ugh, I think I got a guy digging up Frankfurt Avenue for Liberty Electric. Okay, what else? Hey, the, the, the transport workers guy is uh, driving an out-of-service subway train through North Holland. I meant to take the whole thing out. A subway train? Jesus Christ, please tell me that's it. Uh, the head of the LTA is out of France International in his private jet. Hey, you'll probably blow yourself up as soon as you walk out the door. You ain't doing this. I got to. It's the only way you can survive. Get out of my way. I'm sorry, as much as I'd like to right now, I'm not letting you kill yourself. Try and stop me, huh? Okay. Go! Oh, oh. <clears throat> Shit, Tony. You're a little piece of fucking work, you know that? Before, T. If it's real this time, it's a good thing. It's dragging you down, man. It's a fucking parasite. You need to concentrate on getting your own life together. See you soon. Oh, hi, Luis. Wow, what a coincidence. Hey, Margo. How are you? What are you doing here? I was just... just meeting someone. A date, actually. A Hercules? It, it's a gay club. You never answered my calls. Yeah, I'm sorry. Or my emails. Yeah, I meant to, I'm just... Fucking rude. Yeah, <sighs> look, I got a lot going on. Did you get the book I sent you? No. The flowers? No, li listen, Margo, you you're a nice girl, and, and it was nice hooking up with you, but it, <sighs> it was over a year ago. What's time got to do with anything? It's, it's a long time ago. I mean, it's time to move on. You're pathetic. You know that? You think you're such hot shit, don't you? <laughs> no, I'm more like cold shit. But, but seriously, I just don't want to marry you. And no matter how many letters you send me, or chocolate bunnies, or skywriting my name, or naming stars after me, or whatever, it's nothing personal. <laughs> no, rejection never is personal. You know, my dad was right about you. Your dad? But, well, he probably was, okay? But if you'll excuse me, I, I gotta go. You, you can't go. <laughs> But, but I can go. You can't. I'm going to die. I just took 37 painkillers and 15 sleeping pills. There, there's the bottle. I'm going to die, and it's all your fault. Oye, pero tú sí que eres loca. I'll be dead soon. 
Either get me to the hospital or I'm dead. Fucking idiot. I gotta get you to a hospital, man. There's one in Easton. Shit! Luis, why do I love you so bad? I think I can feel my heart breaking, baby. No dumbass. It's just your liver failing. <laughs> You're my fucking savior, Luis. <laughs> Kiss me, baby. The only thing going near that mouth is a tube for the stomach pump. I'm slipping away. Hold me, Luis. Hold on to yourself, bitch. It would be really convenient if you died on me. I was real stupid, wasn't I? Now you're starting to understand. Thank you. Time is funny, my Get in boy. there. You're the doctor's problem now. Aren't you coming in? You could hold back my hair when they pump me. I see enough bulimic bitches at the club, Margo. You're on your own. I love you. But I got some party. I need me a party. Came here to get you. But I can't wait to grab me a partner and cut her up. Hey, what's up, man? What's up, man? Thrown in? Uh, yeah, he got it a while ago. Jury night. Please, after you. Wow. I did. Okay, good evening, my friend. How are you? See, it's me. Yeah, you okay? I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> yeah. Ladies, hide your titties. <laughs> You're late. Sorry, man. Something came up. No doubt. What's going on? I'm trying to figure a way out of this shit. I got a plan to keep that pair of chumps, Rocco and Vince, happy. Come on. I'll explain as we go. Oh, whoa, 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 just a quick hello, quick hello. Gentlemen, my name's Tony Prince. Hope you're enjoying yourselves. Ray Bulgarian. Tell me, where are the women? <laughs> well, they're, they're everywhere. It's, uh, that one over there's a TV starlet. That one there is a model. And that one uh, there, I don't know, but I believe she just signed on with the Derriere campaign. How much? The fuck I mean? <laughs> no, 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 no. They're not hookers. This is not that kind of club. Everywhere is that kind of club. You just need to know how much to pay. Yeah, but uh, listen, uh, can I buy you a gentleman a drink? Cindy! Cindy, come here. Take care of Mr. Bulger in here. It's good to meet you. Please come back. Enjoy your night. My uh, right-hand man, Luis, will take care of you. Good night. Good night. So, gentlemen, more drinks. 
Yes, please. Let's go. So how's it going, gentlemen? Faggot is your boss. Sure. Must make for funny times at Dolestan. Hysterical, hysterical. Where does the coal come from in this place? I don't know about that, Shimon. I just make sure people don't get killed. How very boring. I prefer it when they do. You should come back on a busier night then. Normally it's wall to wall corpses by midnight. You! I like it. Target, not so much. Hey, uh, gentlemen, thank you. Uh, Luis, we gotta go. Good night. Gentlemen. Jesus, Russia, Richard in the church. Buy this place, end all our troubles. Yeah, nothing like Russian gangsters to bring a sense of peace and stability to a problem. Oh, Jesus, what did I do wrong? Take us to Bahama Mamas. Mama's is more Rocco style than our place. Tell me he's gonna start hanging out with all that bridge and tunnel crowd rather than us. Don't we wish? No, sadly, he just wants you to talk to a lady in there. Yo, T, I ain't heard of no lady for Rocco. They just want you to hit on her. She's an old friend of yours, Monique, from the Derriere store in Suffolk. Monique? Shit. After that thing with her roommate? I don't think that's gonna fly. What they want me hitting on girls for? They want you to get at her boyfriend. He owns the place, but he's in Venturis now. So I'm some fucking gigolo now? Perfect. I never seen you complain about chasing women before. Well, I've never been forced to chase them before. Listen, do what you do nice best, partner. partner. You ain't coming? That's you think having a bastard old queen on your arm is some kind of aphrodisiac? Just try and forget it's a job. The day has finally come, see? You've become my pimp, and I finally lost my self-respect. Later, bro. What do you mean, That's right! Listen, there's a nice little taco shack down the street.
Moody after I'm nearly killed, Tony. And that's happening a lot right now. Fuck! Monique's boyfriend wasn't a Venturis. The whole fucking club got shot to shit! Okay, I see why you're upset. Get some rest and we'll talk soon. You're keeping us afloat here, Luis. Hi, Len. Oh, oh look who it is! Jesus, you could not or something. I mean, my heart is beating 200 beats a minute. You almost put me in the hospital. <laughs> this is good blow. Here, give me some. Oh, I know. Oh, yeah. Listen, Gracie, tell your father. Tell him. Tell him you've been selling me coke. He will love that. No, 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 no. I don't mean that. I mean, tell him, tell him I'm okay. You know, tell him I'm on the up. Yeah, tell him if he needs a good fake tan or some hair gel, Rocco can hook him up. Oh, fuck off, Luis. <laughs> Try it, bro. I'll happily do more time for you. Gotta act so tough. Just have a fucking line and chill out like me. You people. Luis is always such a buzzkill. <laughs> We're meant oh to be having God. fun here. <laughs> I'm having fun. I am. <laughs> Where's my fucking phone? This coke is kind of speedy rock. Where's Tony? <laughs> he went out. You better not be spiking me with speed rock or I will be so angry. Where I... did he go? Who? What is wrong with you, man? You are ruining my buzz, Luis. Tony, where's Tony? He is over there. Oh, yeah, he passed out again. The guy's a fucking mess, Luis, holding you back. He holds everyone back. No, he doesn't. Get up. No. Come on, yeah. get up. Get up, you has been no good 1980s throwback <laughs> relapse junkie <laughs> fan. What's wrong with you, Tony? Get Damn. up, baby. Whoa! Ladies and gentlemen, more shots! <laughs> oh, 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 hey, hey, hey. What, guys? What, what's, what's, what's going on? You tell me, boss. What's going on? What? Huh? Why'd you call? Uh, I don't know. Because of that thing, T. Come on, that sparkly thing. Wake up, you junkie fag. All oh, right, right. That thing. That shit. Right. That thing. Okay. All right, Luis. Uh, all right, we gotta go. All right, <laughs> ladies, uh, have some fun. Uh, uh, try to keep your septums all in one piece, uh, huh? Oh, ah, Jesus, man. <laughs> yeah. I feel like a camel shot in my mouth. Ah, uh, well, at the end, it wasn't fun. Here oh. we go. Oh no, 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 <clears throat> not again, not again. No, 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 no. Oh, Hold on, guys. I want to come too. Fuck off, Evan. This is work. It's not working out. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Bitch. Come on. <laughs> so anyway, 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 Sharon, I think I'm gonna sell my car. Oh my god, that is so funny! <laughs> Wait, what's so funny about that? <laughs> Absolutely nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh ordering these limos. Coke makes me real classy, don't it? <laughs> you take Evan, Lou. I'll go with the driver. I could do with not talking. Left me with my favorite person. Perfect. Take us out to East Hook, Louise. Come on, chop, chop. What exactly are we doing, man? Listen, Louise, no offense, but I don't know how much I'm allowed to tell you. What you mean, Evan? Tell me everything you know. 
Really? I mean, how much information are you privy to? You're just a fucking driver, after all. Yeah, I'm privy enough to know that you're a piece of shit who's using Tony and you're only gonna be hanging around for two to three months before Tony moves on to another chunk. I'm privy to the fact that the coke in your nose and the roids in your veins are gonna send you worse out of control real soon. I'm also privy to the fact that you're gonna be some fat trailer park queen back in the Midwest before you hit 30. Now tell me what the fuck we doing right now! <sighs> that attitude's not gonna get you anywhere, sweetie. You better say something nice to me. Tell me what's fucking happening. If you say something nice, I'll think about it. You can get Tony fucked up like no one else can, Evan. That nice enough? Aw, oh, sweet. Thank you, Louise. Tony is more fun when I'm around. What do you want to know? What are we doing going to the docks in Isu? We're buying diamonds. Two million dollars worth. I have your meal. Where did Tony get that kind of cash, bro? You don't know everything, do you, Louise? Yeah, I know that money can't be his unless he borrowed it. Where's it from? How the fuck should I know? I'm the looks, not the accountant. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You just stored the money. You don't know where it comes from. The money could be Rocco's, it could be Gracie's, who cares? We're getting some ice, baby. Yeah, I don't like the sound of this, bro. See what I mean? Always so serious. Don't worry for once. Tony skimmed 10% off the agreed amount, so we'll have some spending money. Woo woo! We're gonna hit the shops today, baby! Even fucking better, bro. Even better. Hey, uh, what's going on? Uh, hey, well, right, what's, uh, which one is Mr. Tony? That would be me. All right, you got what we're looking for? You got the money? Sure, right here. Then, then I'll get the ice. Hold on. How you feel about this, bro? I think I need another fucking line, okay? It serves me right for leaving the party with you losers. Shut up, idiot. Tony, we cool? Uh, let's just get this over with. My head is killing me. My life has been reduced to this bullshit. So no, Luis, we are a long way from cool. But for right now, let's just see what the chef has to say for himself. Yeah, that's what I think. I agree. Ay, de por favor. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, all right. This is them. Mm, mm, mm. These are great. Mm, they're great. But uh, two million. You had your head in the oven? Mr. Tony, I have what they tell you, perfect clarity, beautiful clarity, well cut, and a shitload of carrots. What do you expect? <gasps> Tony, they're gorgeous. Mm, just like you. <laughs> hey, come on, can we do a handover, please, and get out of here? This is too much. No. Ignore him. He's probably been up all night with some bimbo. Tony. <laughs> You're a chef. Welcome. Yeah, I have a line of some kitchen supplies. How about I throw that into the equation? What's the price? Look. Here's the money we agreed upon that's 10%. Just give us the ice. All right, all right. Hey, Tony, can I hold them? Oh. Uh, thanks. Oh, shit, Tony, oh. we out of here. Come on, let's go. Kevin, take him to the club. And don't fuck about, OK? some social networking site when a couple of dozen array bikers are trying to kill him, bro. No one's that vain. Not even him. 10 men 89 pleaded less than 10 minutes ago. I can't believe it, man. What's it say? Cornered by bikers? Ugh. 
Ugh, Ugg, too young to die? They fucking got him! He's poor master. I know! Fuck! Poor Evan. He's a rotten human being. That's why I liked him so much. That fuck got himself killed. And our diamond stolen, I might add, because he needed to tell the internet about his problems. Or you, I can speak ill of him as much as I fucking want. That's the stupidest thing I ever heard. All right, it was a weird move, I'll give you that. But he's dead, killed by social network. He may have cheated on me, and stolen from me, and put his plastic surgery on the business credit card, but I like the guy and I'm kind of sad, okay? Well, I didn't like him. He's dead, and he's still pissing me off. We just lost two million on those diamonds. Calm down, Luis. You think your boyfriend had just been killed? Let's go, you sociopath. You really think Evan's dead? I'm sure of it. He bleated, didn't he? I'm sorry, bro. Those diamonds are gone too, Lou. We're really in this shit now. We got no more cards to play. What the fuck is going to go wrong next? Stay cool, and don't get too fucked up on those pills. Or that, Charlie. Or any fucking new shit. Hey, Evan ripped you off and he didn't get away with it. Look at it like that. I'll come see you soon. Sure, whatever. So long, stranger. D, bro, what's happening? I've organized that face to face with our good friend, the Lebanator. Oh, shit. We're gonna show him a good time? Yeah, I thought we could persuade him that we're not such bad guys after all. He's meeting us at the heliport on the West River. We're taking him out on a tour of the city. I wouldn't miss this. See you there, T. Show off, friend, the view of the city. Take us up above Happiness Island. Luis, meet our new friend, the Celebinator. Nice to make your acquaintance. Yo, do you got, like, a real name? Or do I gotta call you the what's it? This is a gay, I wear in public. I'd prefer it if you call me the Celebinator. Okay. It's a lovely helicopter you've got here, Tony. I'd love to say this was mine, but I'm just borrowing it off a rich friend of mine, Mr. Youssef Amir. He let us use it because it's such a special occasion. This is a very grown-up gesture of yours. I thought it'd be just tit for tat from here on in. What do you mean tit for tat? You just started insulting us on your website. We ain't done shit to you. I'm not naive, Louis. The Derrier launch, Mason, it's fifth birthday. He left me off the list. It was a deliberate snub. What you talking about, man? We never even met you. I was on the scene, Louis. Fuck it. I on the scene. Show our friend the sights, L. I'll take the controls. Really don't have to show me anything. I vlogged every inch of this town. You know what? I don't think you've ever seen Liberty City like this. What's it doing, Tony? Help! You think we can ah! us? Come back here. Ah! Oh, 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 I think you're slipping. Who the fuck is now, huh? Where's your influence now, bro? You think ah! you're a You ain't shit. You ain't shit. Ah! an annoying little fuck, but I think we saw eye to eye by the end of it. He ain't gonna be giving us no smack talk no more. That's excellent news. We should schmooze these citizen journalists more often. It will be my pleasure. Hello. From out of your club, I'm Ray Bulgarin. Oh, yeah. You're the Russian who was asking about gold croakers and corpses. Yeah, I'm sorry we couldn't accommodate. I did not take you for the sensitive type. 
time spending some time here while I'll catch up with some old friends, and I need help with some things. I'm told you are the man to talk to. Listen, man, I got a real busy schedule. This is not an opportunity you want to miss out on, especially as I hear that gay Tony Prince's ship is sinking. Yeah, I don't know where you heard that. Just come to my house. We will talk. Have you heard the news? Evan's definitely dead. Okay, we expected this, Tom. Don't, don't freak out. He was an asshole. My guess is he was intending to steal them diamonds when the bikers got him. Okay, Evan was a conceited dick, a lowlife, a whore, a drug peddler, and a thief. He treated me like dirt. That's the kind of guy I like. You should start going back to the shrink, bro. Screw you. Anyway, that doesn't solve the diamond issue. Rocco's saying we owe him his share of the profits on top of everything else. This ain't good, man. But we'll find a way out of it. You've been in worse case before. I'm counting on your leadership. You believe those stories? Wow. I never took you for an idiot. I just pretended to know what I was doing. I'm a schmuck who got lucky. Shit! We really are screwed! Hey, Luis! Oh, Jesus, Margo. Fancy seeing you here. Don't tell me you were just passing through. Yes. When you suddenly decided the view was better from there? I knew you'd come. How? I'm sorry, Luis. Hey, don't apologize. I love keeping people from killing themselves. It's a weird fetish of mine. No. I mean, I'm sorry we can't be together. You can't have me. I don't want you. Now, come on, get down from there. Must be easy for you. Thinking of me as being crazy, it must help. Yeah, it does, actually. Either that or I think I was. You're not crazy, Luis. You're empty. You don't care about anyone. You're a shell. You fuck people and then you ignore them. That's easy. It's a game, isn't it? No, listen, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, wait, just... I just don't want to marry you, okay? Maybe I am empty, like you said. Or maybe, like pretty much every man alive, I don't want to marry someone who's a complete psychopath. Okay, I don't care which it is. Just get over here, please. When I die, people will blame you. Yeah, either that or thank me. What? Nothing, nothing. Come on. Come on, get over here. If you love me, you'd save me. I don't love you. I've got a letter telling everyone that you pushed me. Come on, get over here. Save me. Oh, God! Yo, Mr. Bulgari here. I don't care hey. if he does want to sell. I want to buy. How much would you offer the last time? Double it. Offer 20 million, and then we see if it is not for sale. If this Banking is not hanging on my wall. Your hat will be. Okay? Think about that. You want I should pay visit to his children at their school? Not yet. I think there's always a prize in this city. Oh, Louis, excuse us. We have been rude. Don't worry about it, man. I like the setup here. These guitars are all collector's items. Celebrity rock memorabilia. Okay, man, good for you. Got a nice place here, Mr. B. That is piece of shit. I bought it for my sister. Hey, you bring me to this fucking country, and you keep me in an ugly cage. No one on TV lives in fucking Duke. Then you come and move all my stuff into hallway after plays with fucking guitars. Shut up, bitch. Take your pills. A friend of mine is here. Ha! You don't have any friends. You don't even have a business here. You are nothing in this My country. sister. She's still getting adjusted. We all are. So how can I help you? Fuck you, Ray. You have ruined my life. Yes! Yes! <sighs> a difficult situation. It seems I'm being investigated by the National Office of Security Enforcement. There is a particular unit that has a hard on for me. And why? Because Mark Yashwili won Selma the Rampage. You'll get rid of them. 
I will own this fucking team. Hey, the problem ain't just gonna disappear over here if we kill some crooked cops. Leave that strategizing to me. If the money tells you to cut your fucking legs off, you'll do it. Because the money is better than a fucking leg. The money is making the plans. That's the American way. All right, man. Thank you. I like you. I make you rich. I make you man. Maybe I'll make you a man with one leg, but <laughs> I'll make you a rich man with one leg. There is this team tracing a cow mine. Take out the whole team. No exceptions. Okay, man, if that's what the money wants. You're a bright guy, Luis. I still like you. You made a good choice coming here. Back man, no good. Go. Roll the bitch. Ting, 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 ting. Go to the garage of Topa Street. Take these sticky bombs, boys. We will need them for our news friends. Fuck that. We got explosives already. And over that MG of yours, and I'm ready to go. It's good to have you with us, Louis. Yeah? Yes. It must be nice for you to get out from the under big party. I don't know what you're implying, bro. Don't need me a partners. I got a stake in the enterprise. <laughs> a stake, sure. You still take orders from him, don't you? You cut up his shit. Look, it could be much more than that. Unless you enjoy working for such a man, partner or whatever you call it. Really, bro? I don't know. When I was left to my own devices, I got locked up. At least with Tony's guidance, I ain't doing time. Perhaps, for now, perhaps. But do you think you're achieving everything you could? A man with your talents, in your condition, you could have anything you want. You know, can get see? To where I am without being able to see the worth of man. That's real flattering, Mr. Bulgari. But whatever it is you're offering, I'm gonna have to decline. Me and Tony's is a business relationship. He gets his kicks elsewhere, but he's been a good boss to me and a good guy. Help me out. Thank you. I'm not a fucking faggot. Whatever you say, bro. But what are you talking about? I was saying that I may be interested in investing in your potential. Then tell us why. As a businessman, I am looking for someone here in Liberty City with the correct relationship. I already got one employer. Like I said, he's been good to me. Of course, but what is he? He is a drug addict, a madman. You are useful to him, but you think what the that fuck? is all he wants oh, from you? <laughs> when some new muscle-bound pretty boy comes along, he will forget about you and your precious stake in the Tony Prince Empire. Whatever, bro. Can we talk about something else? What am I doing here? You are helping me with my business. This don't seem... So Go nice down fun. into the garage. Leave the car in this empty space over by the pillar. We will conceal ourselves. A bump where they will not see it. Things are about to get hot in here. Yeah, no doubt. Now, Luis, we see if you can handle this out. Don't worry about me. I prefer we weren't taking on the National Office of Security Enforcement, but that's a different matter.
us back to my sister. Excellent, excellent, Marsker Sackers. No! I still have smell of meat in nose. Bro, it's true. You are one who blew them up. That you did, Lewis. A serviceable job. Boss competent. How'd I get myself into this shit, man? You didn't get yourself into this? I choose you. I pick you out because I see potential in you. You're this right is not shit. Yeah, great, thanks. But if you need more cops taken out, crooked or otherwise, you ain't choosing me. Look at this. The sensitive, modern American man. You need to go home and explain your bulls. May as well cut them off. What the fuck is this? I don't like killing government agents, so I ain't got no balls. Be a break. Okay, calm down. We got no more law enforcement to expand. For now. Those who are the only guys smack ahead of us. You think he will sell? He has no choice but to sell. We have taken away his protection. It's that simple, is it? It should be. Maki is a weakling. He lives here in exile, like all cowards. But he has been here for a long time, so he has more connections that others of us have not been able to acquire. This little trip should have several the good deals of those connections and will give others involved a pause before they continue their association. Okay. Perhaps I will buy clubs of you as well. You sell them to me? Them clubs is levers to the max already, man. I don't know if there's anything left to sell. I don't care about other investors. They will forget about debts if I am involved. Some of these investors aren't the type to go away. They aren't the type to pay off, either. Anyway, it's not my place to sell them. I have a stake, but Tony's got the controlling share. Ha! <laughs> ha! Of course! Tony pulls the string, and the little puppet man dance for him. Let me know when Tony next has hand up your ass, and when Trilloquist, Dami can talk. Fuck, man! What's wrong with you? Your stake is bullshit! You think you run the club? But you are still just security. You are Tony's skin, and you won't admit it. It's not like that. This what you want to do your whole life? No, but seriously, bro. I have opportunities for you. Think about them. Think about what I said to you. The offer will not be there forever. Okay, I will. Send my regards to Big Tony. Hey, Tom, what's happening, bro? Besides my life falling apart in front of my eyes, not much is happening, bro. Someone told me they saw you driving around with some Russians. What the fuck are they? You've gone over to the dark side? Really? That's funny, man. Your friend must have been mistaken. Okay, of course. Shit, the stress is really getting to me. Calm shit down, T. And don't take it out on me. I'll be by soon. Take care of yourself. Welcome to the party! <gasps> sit down! Sit down! Sure. Can I get you anything? A drink? Oh, something stronger. Huh? I'm cool, bro. You know how to play the drums? We need a fucking drummer! I ain't your man, bro. Sorry. You Spanish have the rhythm. Give us a fucking beat, man! You don't drum, but you dance, don't you, Luis? You dance. I can dance, man, but not with you and him. That's a shame. You dance, Mr. B? Money doesn't dance. The money doesn't dance, my friend. Okay, but you need some work done. Wait, wait. Listen. Ooh. Ah, this is it. This is it. Ooh. Hey, can you ask the ape to stop playing for a second? You want I should stick $50,000 guitar up your ass? No, but I got some friends I can introduce you to if that's how you get your kicks. Oh, funny guy. All right. All right. Okay. You have heard about Liberty City. Rampage. The owner still will not accept my offers. I have been more than reasonable. You mean after you killed this special team of cops? It's weird. You want me to negotiate with him? No. 
The time for negotiations over. Do what needs to be done in his boardroom. Send a message. Hey, I ain't a hitman, bro. I mean, I'll fight anyone, do whatever. But I ain't a contract killer. The officers are in the me TV buildings. Getting in will not be easy. You'll have to find someone else, man. I mean, it's not my thing. I ain't qualified for that shit. I am sorry. I wasn't discussing your career development. I was telling you what to do. No! Fuck off and go! Поехали! Wait up, asshole! We go to Ellaport in Fish Market South. I'm sorry to break up your party, man. You look like you were having fun. Mr. Ray wanted me to keep watch on you. Make sure you do a toll. Hey, I don't need no watcher. Mr. Ray think you do. Shit. You think I want to be here? Whatever. Okay. So? So fucking what? So, what's up, bro? Fuck off. Chill, man. I'm just trying to converse with you. My job is hospitality. Your and... job is kill Marky Ashley for Ray Bulgarin. Damn bro. I like to think I can talk to people. I try to put them at ease. Make them open up. Sure. They open up when you shoot in their head. You put people in the ground, my friend. You killer like me. That's what Bulgarin wants you to do. So that's what you do. Hospitality is for weaklings. You're hard work, bro. Fuck you! You are hard work! Don't even know what you are! Hey, I know who I am. Sure, I do bad shit, but that ain't who I'm gonna be forever. <laughs> I've heard this before. Fuck off! You want me to shut up? Good. Good. Great. Total fucking silence from here on in. Let's go up high above Star Junction. I better bring us up over the humble. Otherwise, we ain't gonna get the altitude. Here, I have headset for you. This is so we communicate when you're in building. Just what I always wanted. A hotline to a fucking charmer. Can you tell me what the plan is? Ashley office is in Meat TV building. You not going to get in from ground, so you come in from above. Out the chopper? Great. He's not so tough. I would do, but there is chance Ashley's people come for my family back in old place. And you ain't worried about my family? No. Tell me why we can't just land on the building. You think they would not notice chopper landing on building? You must go in silent. Perfect. When you get in building, I will give instructions through headset. You kill Ashley, send message and leave building. I pick you up on ground. Okay, you soon need jump. I will fly chopper. Say hello to Ashley for me. Wish you could be here, asshole. I think I see someone on roof. Look into it. This shit die now. We have him now. I'm gonna shoot this bitch in the balls. I'm in.
He's here for us, Vili. Now he dies. Glad you enjoy yourself. I knew you had to be you. I need this money. This is political assassination. Protect me. I'm here for you, asshole. A guy. Too late, guys. He's dead. Okay. Now you got to go. I am outside in truck. Come out window. Actually, no more around. Yeah, great. Tell him I'm not his fucking hitman, okay? That's not why I'm hanging with him. I am sorry, Mr. Hospitality Man. You do what Mr. Ray says. That's it. I see you soon. Stick your guitar up your fucking ass. <sighs> Yourself. Hey, Luis! My man! How's things, bro? Yeah, not that great. My father, he is a very passionate and angry and very disrespectful man. But listen, can you come and meet me at the construction site? I have something to discuss. Yeah, okay, man. I'll try to come by. Yo, nigger! Would you shut the fuck up, man? What's wrong with you? Oh, yo, yo. Easy, amigo. I'm just pleased to see you. Yeah? Come on, baby. Give me some skin. Come on. What are you doing here? Well, you know, it's my father, uh... Hey, you know, my ancestors, we built the pyramids, baby. We built the ziggurats. <laughs> we invented math and shit. I'm here, I'm not afraid. I get my hands dirty. Well, I can work. Whatever, man. How's it going? Oh, epic, homie. This shit is epic. People are babble about this shit in the future, baby. I'm talking luxury on a whole new level. This place is going to be so expensive, people won't even be able to afford it. <laughs> it's going to be drowned in gold. You know, it's like, uh, yo, 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 is that a diamond in your pocket? You just pleased to see me and shit. <laughs> Whoa, man. You know, the sales sheet is going to say, ah, the impossible dream. Priceless indulgence. Style by Yusuf Amir. Timeless classic. Timeless classic. Yeah, sounds perfect, man. Just what the people want right now. But what are you doing here? Psh, I'm crafting this whole thing with my bare hands. Okay, cool, man. Listen, it was good catching up with you, okay? I'll, I'll see you soon. Yeah, not so fast, homie. Yo, could you uh, give me a ride to my helicopter? I can tell you something along the way. But I thought you was busy building the pyramids. You, all work and no play makes use of a dull boy. Come on, baby, it'll be fun. We're rolling out to the broker side of the Algonquin Bridge, homeboy. Hey, this is taking forever. Oh, yellow. Just in case. You mind if I hit you up for some of them exploding shells? Thanks, man. What you after this time, man? I got you that tank thing in the chopper. What now? You want the Statue of Happiness for your backyard? An excellent idea, my friend. But that will have to wait. All right, then. What are we after? Wait for it. I'm waiting. You ready? Just fucking tell me, bro. A motherfucking subway train. Oh, yeah, baby. The prize of the fleet. The ass-fucking flagship of the LTA. Give it up. What you want a subway train for? We're taking that shit out to the Gulf for a new Liberty City theme development out there. Check this out. Genuine LTA submarine train. Get that shit going through a precious and elegant coral reef. Ah, perfect. A 
aside from how fucking dumb that sounds. How am I supposed to take that thing? Not gonna be easy, dog. No one likes people fucking with their public transport in this paranoid age. Can't you just buy yourself a subway car, bro? No, man. Shit. We need the genuine article, the real deal. You think we could put the Amir name to anything but authentic shit? Yo, how am I supposed to pull this off? Okay, we just need the front car of the train. You jump on board, you climb to the front, and you unhook the car. I'll handle all the rest. Real simple, man. I don't know why I hang out with you, bro. Because you fucking love this shit, Obi. Ain't nothing like rolling with this Arabic bad boy. That, and I'm going to put your clubs on the world stage. This is where you're going to jump. I can't believe I'm doing this. Believe it, baby. Pinch yourself. You ain't dreaming. This is no film. The city is our playground, Omi. If it's our playground, how come I'm the only one getting dirty? Shit. I'm gonna look after you, you and Tony. Your problems, man, Yusuf can make them go away. You better be able to, bro, because you're about to owe me big time. Come on, you're trying to slower than me, man. I have to go now, man. Wait here above the tracks. Nothing. Luis. Yeah. It's me, Arnold. Thank fucking God I can see you. Thank you, God. Maybe you do exist. Uh, Arnold, what are you doing down here, bro? Uh, uh, well, we had a little incident. I don't mind when the girl play rough, but when the pimp come in and he plays rough too... Oh, la, 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 la. What happened, bro? I tell you, it is a bad combination. Chinese opium and Brazilian prostitutes. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, no doubt, man. I was just uh, nodding off after a little bit of light after dinner bondage, and when the pimp comes in, he steals my wallet and gives me a good beating. <laughs> For watching too much television? <laughs> somehow, uh, somehow I feel my dignity is still intact. Wait a second. You're a guy who just enjoyed an opium laden threesome with some light bondage. How could your dignity ever be in question? <laughs> exactly, <laughs> my friend. Uh, 
Yeah, well, maybe you can help me uh, get back the wallet. Hey, compared to the shit I dealt with today, okay, that doesn't sound so shady. <laughs> <laughs> so why the fuck you not? <laughs> They're just over on the Rue de Broncourt. Why did he not just ask me for the money? If he needed it, we could have made an arrangement. Perhaps a little four-way. Maybe he didn't want to subject himself to no bondage, light or otherwise. He was perhaps more dumb than some, that's true, but surely being a pimp implies some perversity, or at least curiosity. It would have been an experience. Yo, don't worry, bro. We're gonna subject him to some shit soon enough. Life is an unpredictable thing, my friend. You don't need to tell me. Here's an example for you to digest. This morning, a delicious 22-year-old girl left her parents' apartment in Middle Park East. The only thing on her mind was buying a coffee, but uh, I made her a proposal. Soon she was drenched in champagne, bent over naked in my hotel suite. Before 11 a.m., she was shoveling cocaine into her nose with a caviar spoon and begging me to give it to her. That's him! Do you think you can get my wallet back? Motherfucker's driving off! Look at him! Yo, it's the French Whipping Boy! You ain't getting your cash back, fool! Here's your wallet, bro. I'd stay in Algonquin from now on if I was you. Things get rough out here in the boroughs. They do, and that's why I like it. It's your life you're playing with, bro. I just don't want to see you end up one of them deviant sex stories gone wrong, like one of them guys who strangle themselves trying to get off. Civilian like you coming out to the point is almost as suicidal. This is where I'm leaving you. You still might get robbed around here, but they won't kill you. Adieu, dear boy. It's been fun. You sir, you staying out of trouble, man? You better believe it, bro. Totally guilt-free. It's business, business, business with me. Yeah, why does that make me think you're about to ask me to do some dumb shit? Damn, what do you take me for? I'm a giver, not a taker. I don't need anything from you. I want to make a gift of my car to you. It's a special machine, but you know, what you have done for me recently is more special. Thanks a lot, bro. You didn't need to do that, though. No, I did. Yeah, there's a little bit of fun for you in the glove compartment. I think you will enjoy it. All right, man. I'll check that out. Yo, and thank you again. Luis, hello, my friend. Uh, did you like the car? Uh, did you like the other gift? The gun? Fuck me, bro. Solid gold. <laughs> All is the best for you, Luis. It makes a statement, doesn't it? Shit, it sure does. Thanks a lot, Yusuf. We are brothers. It is nothing. I've got three more myself. <laughs> Yo, hey, man. Hey, man. Tony inside? Uh, yeah, but can I speak to you for a minute? No, not really. No, it, it'll just take a minute, man. I really need you to speak to Tony. I did, and you can't move to Mason. Then. No, 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 man. Not that. Not that. Guess what? I'm gonna be famous. Seriously. So? 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 Are you insane, man? What else matters? The production company here, man, belongs to one of the guys. They are gonna make a show about me. Me. I mean, they were gonna make one about this Puerto Rican guy in Bohan, but he disappeared. Now, they're gonna make a show about me! Bro, you spend every night standing here in the exact same spot. It's very stressful, man, but it's got it all. Think about it. Drama, action, sex, love, it's got everything. And they're all gonna shoot it through the eyes of, of, of a tough guy with a heart. Yeah, I'm sure, and it sounds all like fantastic entertainment. Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta get back down to work. 
Okay, if you could excuse me also. Easy, hey, 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 hey. Did I say yeah, next? You said I was next, man. You hey, listen, man. Get back to the You said I was next. Yeah, you know what? We're full. Fuck you. You said I was next. What's up, dude? Oh, we're getting rich here. Look at this place. So many rich, happy queens spending their hard earned money, huh? Man, what went wrong? In my day, gay guys used to be lonely, needy, and lost. Now, they're all in relationships, learning how to cook. <laughs> Man, therapy's got a lot to answer for, huh? Where's all the self-loathing gone, huh? <laughs> so who do you want me to kill, boss? Oh, ha, a lot of people. A lot of people. And where the fuck is Gracie, huh? <laughs> She's supposed to meet me here. Ah, fuck her, man. Fuck her. Oh, shit. We gotta go make ourselves rich. Because, after all, the nightclub trade is not what it used to be. What's going down? <laughs> Those diamonds. I heard they're being sold soon at the Libertonian of all places. I thought we could go down there, put in a low ball bid, and take them for ourselves, huh? Nice, so let's go. Ah, exactly. Mwah. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, maybe, uh, maybe I should handle this one on my own, Pete. Okay, you just sit tight, wait for Gracie, and um, I'll give you a shot when I get back. Yeah, I'm not on drugs, man. I know, I know. I'm not on drugs. right now. You mind if I borrow your chopper? Which one, man? I got a fleet. A special one. The one with all that military shit. The buzzard? Of course, bro. It's practically yours anyway. Ah, you'll love what I've done with her. She's over at my pad on the West River. Thanks, bro. You know how things are. No problem. Let's do this. Okay. Let's see the stuff, gentlemen. Maury, come over here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Since we're having a little show and tell, let's see some money. Of course. No problem. There it is. Beautiful, huh? Unmarked bills. No history, no need to launder. Good. Nico, show him the stuff. Get in there, Maury. Isaac, look at them. Gorgeous, huh? Like condensed money. Isaac, these are great. Oh. Rest of you motherfuckers want to die? Do something stupid, okay? Fuck you! Just get the shit, man! Come on! Wait, wait, wait. L listen, if you get me out of here, I promise I'll split this with you. Can you do me a favor and not take this too personally? What? <coughs> These were stolen from us first, bro. the ancient art of understatement from you. Here are those rocks. Try to hold on to them this time. Thanks. They'll go straight to safe. Yeah, sure. Right next to the emergency aid pole. I'll see you soon, T. Louis! Hey, bro. Thanks for lending me the buzzer. Love what you've done with the paintwork. Real subtle. 
Stealth attack shit. That's what I do, motherfucker. Sneak up on them bitches. Hide in the fucking sand. Then now I'm a cobra. I'm a cobra in the sky. Flying with my cobra wings. I'm the executive flying cobra. When I stick my tongue in you, you know you've been poisoned. Uh, uh, I'm glad there could be a resistance anyway. Well, exactly. Thanks. I appreciate it. Ah, Mr. Lewis. Hey, where's the one-man Ben? He's working. Oh, okay. Ray! Hey, Ray! Of company, shut up! Don't tell me to shut up! So, I've heard from some people, I know, that maybe you have some diamonds for sale. Not me, my boss, Tony. <laughs> oh, my other boss. Yeah, yeah. You got them from the fat cook. Ray! Huh? I'll stay as long as I like. You think you're a big man? Where's your house on Middle Park East? Where's your big sports team, huh? Shut up, you can't! <laughs> Shut up, you fucking can't! Hey, man, is she okay? A big gun makes you a big man, huh? Your thingy was tiny even before the wrestling coach make you take steroids. Mother always <laughs> said she only had daughter. Ignore her, Luis. The diamonds. I, I gotta talk to Tony. You gotta talk to Daddy. I thought I was making you a real man, not a rand boy. Well, I can't sell what ain't mine, bro. And plus, with all the work I put in for you, I don't really feel like a man yet. Okay. Soon, man, soon. I want you to cover Timur's back. He's going to talk to some people. I need you there. Okay, man, I got it. But you should chill out, bro. Let me decide when to chill out. Go! Yeah, what's up? I'm here. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. You're in position. Do you see a box in front of you? Yeah. Open it. Have you opened it yet? No, give me a sec. No. Okay, I'm here. Do you recognize that? Man? Shit! <laughs> I believe you parted with him in a diamond deal. Yo, what the fuck? Is this the guy we bought the ice from? You colluded with him to steal from me. Yo, we just got some rocks off him, okay? Look, listen. No, yo, listen. I offered you an opportunity, yet you were plotting against me. Yo, I ain't no shit about those rocks. But I believe it doesn't matter. I will do everything in my considerable power to drive you and your faggot master from this elf. Goodbye. Oh, shit! Fucking great! Of course it's locked. Refreshing, though, for me to be the one getting us in shit for once. Don't you think? Yeah, a real relief. Listen, man, I told you. I didn't know shit about who won them diamonds. Then maybe you should have asked. Instead, you ran around the city making a fool of me. You and your faggot boss will be killed. 
up for this. I will do everything in my power Shit. to... I think the scene was dropping, man. Later, bro. Yo, T. Where have you been? I got here as soon as I could, bro. Oh, man, Louise Gracie. Louise Gracie. What about Gracie? They got Gracie. She's gone. Evan's dead. Tell Gracie. Fuck Evan. Who's got Gracie? I, I don't know. What are you talking about, bro? Where is she? I, I, some guy's at war with her father, I guess. I don't know. Hey, Gracie's pretty tough. She's a princess. And she's a tough princess. Oh, they fucking hurt her. Yeah, they'll have you, me, and my family to deal with. <laughs> you never liked her. You never did. You never liked anyone. That's not true. I like her. No, you didn't. She's my favorite go -Kor. Oh, and what makes you so good, huh? <laughs> if it wasn't for me, you'd be selling dime bags in the street corner. I made you. Yeah, and she and Evan made you into a junkie, okay? I mean, she's not a bad person. Okay, she's not a murdering, greedy psychopath like me. She's so hard. You know, she can get past the accent, okay? But she made you into a useless old queen to act out on blowing pills to notice his business is going to shit. Oh, here we go, huh? Here we fucking go, huh? Oh, I see it in your eyes. You're embarrassing me. You see me again. Oh, this is it. This is the moment to put me down. This is the moment when the apprentice takes over, huh? Oh, man. You think I'm done? You're not so fucking tough, Louise. And you're not so smart, you dumb junkie. Oh, fuck. Yeah. fuck you, Louise. Oh, come on, Tony. Chill out. Oh. oh, no. You're right. You're right. You're not the one with the problem. I am. Oh, Tony, what the fuck are you doing? No, I'm holding you back. I see that now. I see that now. The closest thing I've had to a son. I'm sorry, Luis. I love you. Tony. Goodbye. Tony, C come on, man. Goodbye. I love you. Shit. Shit. Fuck. <laughs> ah. <laughs> the fuck is wrong with you, uh. you dumb prick? Huh? Get up. Get up so uh. I can kill you myself. Get up. Uh. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just, I just couldn't take it anymore. Uh. Come on. Get up. Uh. Get up, you old bastard. Oh. Huh? Let's move. Let's go find Gracie, okay? Okay. Oh. Jesus Christ. Oh, shit, Louise. The Ancelotti said I should use their chopper. It's at the heliport on top of the entrance of the booth tunnel. Suicidal, T. You're just over dramatic. I wouldn't be surprised if that gun was just a movie prop. We've been in enough shit recently for me to carry something a little bit more dangerous than a prop gun. You think you'd know enough with all the shit we've been in to take the safety off our gun before you use it? Fair point. I'll get a post it note for the next time. Disengage before a suicide attempt. Self indulgent cry for help for me. Okay. I need your help, Luis. You're all I've got left. You happy now? I said it. Well done. You win. Jackass. Okay, bro. Where are we looking for this girl? There's some lowlifes and dukes who might be involved. Losers even by current mob standards, which is saying something. You from dukes, ain't you? I try to forget about that. Okay. So we head over there and do what? Land on the roof and ask them where they got racing? We just got to follow them. See if they take us anywhere interesting. Okay, bro. Let's hope for the best. Who knows what they could have done to that girl? She could be dead at the bottom of the West River now. Or she could be driving some son of a bitch kidnapper crazy. You wanna waste that nasal whining voice on the worst guy out there? Gracie's got my backing over some chump hook with dudes. You're right, that could be the smart bet. Our old man said something interesting to me, by the way. Oh yeah? What'd he say? That he's blaming us for this whole thing. That if we get her back, or well, we're dead. That's definitely interesting. How the fuck did he get that in his head? I barely know the girl. It's the diamonds, Lou. Rocco's had a word with him. Motherfucking Guido hand your cabrón. Shit, Rocco just ordered me a photo of Gracie. They've gagged her. I bet they have. Bro, I want to gag the bitch most times I see her. Joking, man. I was joking. Here's the Ancelotti chopper. Let's not screw no it up way. as well. Where is my camera? Come on, hurry up, man. Checking out is over in Cerveza Heights. So, this isn't about Gracie? 
It's about saving our own asses? Yes, this is a purely selfish act. Are you happy now? Yeah, strangely I am. Now that I've realized I'm being blackmailed into doing this, it's become a lot clearer. Great. How are we gonna get out of this, Tom? What? All this shit piling down on top of us. How are we gonna get up? Have we got a plan? I don't know. We could play the lottery, start a little Ponzi scheme, buy some cheap diamonds and try to sell them at a profit. Oh, wait. We tried that. It's not going so well. Fair enough. We could marry a billionaires. That might get us out of our problems. I think that's the place we're looking for.
Hello. Hola, burrito. Rocco, how'd you get my fucking number? I don't want to talk to you. Too bad, Mex. This line opened up just as soon as Tony took those points. You know, Rock, your guinea ass is lower down this country's ethnic food chain than mine. So don't fucking condescend me. Oh, I got Senora Sensitive here. Hey, look, I respect you, so I'm going to talk straight a second. Tony's pissed a lot of people off. You need to control him. Tony's going to calm down as soon as you stop sending us on suicide mission. Then, Rock, Chinatown, Bahama Mamas, those fucking bombs? That's some out of control shit, man. No, Tony's some out of control shit. Think about what he has got you into. But if you think about it too long, then there might be no getting out of it. Comprende? Not really, bro. Goodbye. Luis. Ray, listen. You fucked with me, Luis. No, no, not at all. That's how things seem. But trust me, that wasn't my intention. You fucked with me. No. Could you say it again, please? Fuck you! I'm still not getting it. What about a third time? Can't! Bye. We walk in confident, we have a good time. <laughs> okay. Hey, you on the list? Yes. No. Yes. yes. Then you're not coming in. Oh, wait a minute, man. We're relatively important people. We're going in, bro. I don't give a fuck who you think you are. You're not coming in. Come on, man. I'm a VIP. We, we come here all the time. Hey, Des. Hey, man. Tony? I ain't seen him. Hey, man! Luis! Bro, can you get us in? Hey, Brucey. Yeah, sure. Uh, Tessie, take care of them. Oh, thanks, oh. man! <laughs> keep it cool, keep it cool. <laughs> man, I'm no, going no, to no, see no, some no, vagina no, tonight! You walked in with one, bro. What? Never mind, man. Hey! So I'm going to go get the drinks! Okay! Good seeing you guys, man. I gotta take care of something. Hey, wait, listen, can I just say something, man? Listen, can I just say the way you dealt with Bori, man? I was really great. Thank you. Hey, dog, don't mention it, man. Unless you want me to kill him. Maybe. Hey, listen, you know, you're not like me. That's right, you're like a, a lone wolf. An adventure. Tough butt. With a sense of Not really, bro. I like killing for money. Yes, yes, I know, but that's just your thing, man. Ugh. You know, What's your problem, what? man? Nothing. I didn't mean nothing by it. I'm not gay. It's cool, man. Just don't do it again, man. Hey, look, I fucked three girls last night, man. One of them can't even walk. I mean, now. If she could walk before, she didn't need a wheelchair or anything. Look, I was just checking to make sure you weren't gay, bro. No, not a problem, man. I, I gotta go. Hey, listen. Hey, Luis. Come on, man. We gotta go. Let's go. Alright, man. Peace out, bro. Thank God you showed up, bro. What? I never thought seeing you would make things feel more heterosexual. I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that, sweetheart. Yeah, it's probably best. We're heading over to Fish Market South. What's happening, D? Getting Gracie back. She's coming home. You mean taking her back? Well, this is gonna be tranquilo. 
God, I hope so. They're getting the diamonds for her, so they better behave. Shit. Wait a second. Slow up, man. What have the diamonds got to do with Gracie? What the fuck have we got to do with Gracie? Should her whole man be handling this? Apparently the kidnappers have asked for these rocks, and we aren't being given much of a choice about it, if you catch my meaning. Oh, great. Angry mobsters, kidnappers, maniacs. Sounds like another fun day. The exchange is on Charge Island. They're calm by land. We're on the water. Tony, man. These diamonds. What about them? Yo, man. Rainbow got his claiming ownership. He's got some serious resources. Maybe we should think about handing them over to him. We got two options, Lou. Either we give them to the Russian, and Ancelotti kills us, or we give them over to the kidnappers. Gracie lives, and we take our chances with the Russian. All right, man. Sounds like you got everything figured out. I got nothing figured out. Half the city wants to kill me, but they'll be lucky if they can get a chance before I die of a heart attack. Easy, though. Last chance, D. So you want to hand this stuff over? Sure, I'm sure. Father's gonna kill us if we don't. Yeah, it makes it nice and simple. <laughs> yeah, lends a lot of clarity to my thinking. <laughs> Gracie, you all right? Yeah. The bastard didn't hurt you, did they? She can't speak. We got a gag in her mouth. Give her back, you animals. She suffered enough. Hand over the stuff. Hand over Gracie. I'm here for you, sweetie. Hand over the fucking stuff. All right, calm down. Both of you. Oh, yeah. We put the ice in the middle. We walk back. Then, you send over the girl. We leave. And you pick up the stuff. Entiende? Sure. Show us the goods. Come back to me, honey. Let her go. Fucking chomp off our boat! Hey, I'm trying, okay? Tony, you're fucking pathetic! Get the motherfucker off our boat! He can't hear you, babe. Those in a world of his own. How many of those things that I take? He let go. Now turn around and get those assholes to kidnap me. Pussy. Stupid fucking bouncer piece of shit. Go back and get the guys who kidnapped me. Gracie, they're gonna have to set the fuck up right now. We don't need to be doing this for you. You and Tony are fucking pussy. I'm gonna make sure my dad fucking has your... She don't got a mouth like a lady, Tom. And the way she was acting, she was gonna get us killed. I should have given her some pills. But oops, ah, I took them all. <laughs> Sleep it off, man. Happening. You got Gracie back safe and sound, Tom. I hope she was worth two mil. You hit her, right? 
She had a boating accident. Make sure her old man understands that. I don't want to see her again. Okay, sailor. So long. Don't. Fuck, Lou. Have you heard? That our lives are falling apart? No. Yes. No, uh, sort of. The city's closed down the clubs. You serious? Those motherfuckers. All this fucking bullshit, and we forgot to pay off the Citadel. Shit, D. Maybe this is a good thing. At least we can concentrate on getting off every gangster's hit list. We better do it quick. There's no more money coming in. It's only gonna get worse for us. Fuck me, I need some blow. Luis Lopez. What could you possibly have to say that I'd want to hear, Rock? Time to face the facts, Jack. Frankly, you're fucked. There's a rich Russian having a powwow with the old man about you and the fag. FYI, they ain't talking about handing you a special commendation. Well, what the fuck are me and Tho supposed to do about that? Let's leave the homo out of this for a minute. Meet me and Uncle Vincenzo in the public toilets in Middle Park. We gotta talk in person. That shit would never have happened back in the day. <laughs> What's up, ladies? Still living the high life, I see. Fuck you. What you doing here, cruising? <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> you know, Mr. Ancelotti's still blaming all that diamond shit for Gracie's kidnap? Well, you did bring the heat down on the club, so... I can understand why they blame you. Yeah, and those chinks, they're still fucking pissed at that dispute of ours. Again, fair enough. Whatever, it don't matter, all right? What matters is the Russian has come to Mr. Ancelotti and said he wants the head of anyone involved with the diamonds. Now, on top of all that... Gracie and chink shit, the old man is pissed. He wants blood. I think we can cut a deal. We give him one body. All right? So basically, it's you or Tony. One of you has to die. Me and Vince would prefer to work with you in the clubs over the faggot, so you're lucky. You kill Tony. You get to keep the clubs. You and us together, partners. Either that, or the Russian is gonna send some serious people round to whack you, and the fag with Ancelotti's sanction. Yeah, you'll both get whacked. You're way out of your league, kid. And you, you're a fucking loser hanging out with children living a fantasy life. I ain't killing Tony, but I may be about to kill you two fucks, though. Then you're a dead man. You and your family and those spick drug dealers you hang out with, you're all dead. It's your choice. It ain't our fault. Fuck you. Think about it. I'll be in touch, you fucking spick. Oh! There he is. Thank God you got here, Luis. These, these fucking guys. I talk to them. Tell them we can figure it out. It ain't that simple, Tom. Sure it is. We got money coming. We can expand, refurb, rebrand. I'm an earner. I'm a survivor. I've been in this game since 1987. Ouch. The terrible irony. You better tell them. Tony, man. What? Things are kind of fucked, man. These guys, man, these fucking guys, you never should have brought them in, man. Now somebody's got it. You know. The mix is with us now. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Times change, Tony. Your brand of charming homosexuality, it's kind of run out of steam. Someone has to pay for what's gone down. Do it. Sorry. I'm sorry, man. For all we've been through, Lou! I'm sorry, T. You... You was family, man. But it's either you or all of us. The Russians are coming, man! We don't got time for this gay shit! Fucking pop him already! You fucking moron! Hey, I had second thoughts, man. You fucking killed yourself just then! There's Russians, fucking everyone, they're coming after you! The old man, you're fucking dead! The both of you, they're coming any second and they're expecting corpses! We better not disappoint then! Ah, keep your head, Lou! He's a made guy! Fuck him! All right, get out of here, Rocco! This is for the old man and that's it! You're a dead man, Taco! Get out of my club, you fucking mook! You saw that was smart? You should not shoot me with smart. I don't think so. Uh, all right. If we can operate, we're gonna need some, some goodwill here. What now? I don't know. Didn't he say the Russians are coming? Doesn't stop, does it? <laughs> uh, 
More of them are arriving outside. Then we're gonna have to go meet them, boss. It's gotta end sometime. Have we been through this already? Been through the fact that you wanted to kill me? Been through the fact that you're far from alone, that desire? This is over. It's over. I just want to go someplace far away from here and quietly wait to die. I lived it. I lived it hard, and now I'm ready to end it. Oh, shut up, you hysterical fucking queen. Get a grip, bro. Oh, yes. Silly me. <laughs> Silly fucking me. <laughs> the Russian mob want me dead. My best friend just contemplated murdering me. The mob are on my case. I'm massively in debt. And I just lost two million dollars worth of diamonds. Any other man would just dust himself off and carry on. Look, okay, I'm sorry I thought about killing you. I really am. But if you keep up with the bullshit, I might have to kill you for real. Fuck off, Luis. No, you fuck off, Tony. I didn't kill you. I wanted to. Why? Because you've become a useless junkie fuck. That's why. But I didn't. And now, it's you and me against the world, okay? And if your brains ain't working right, then I'll make the decision for us, okay? It's Bulgarian or us. Or you can shoot us both and make his life easy for him. Well, you're kind of clever, aren't you? I only hired you because I thought you were dumb. Yeah, thank you very much. You're welcome very much. Are you coming now? Yes, I'm coming now. Well, let's go. Come on. Salubri's associates told me that Bulgarin was in on the H deal at Funland on Firefly. Is it a fucking bumper car? What the hell? So, say we find them, what are we gonna do then? We're gonna take out their income stream, and then we're gonna take them out. End this bullshit. Okay, I'm armed, I'm dangerous, let's fucking do this! Come on, T. Give me a break. What? We're in this together! Tony, bro, I love you. And I should handle this alone. I don't want you getting yourself killed. Then you're gonna have to punch me out again, Lou. Don't make me, man. You know you're just gonna slow me down, bro. And kill us both. I want at least one of us to survive. Lou? Look, D, don't go home. Don't go to the clubs. Don't go nowhere anyone might conceivably think to look for you. There aren't many places like that left in the city, I'm afraid. Come on. Where do you think you can hide that no one would expect? I have no fucking clue. Uh, Dukes, I ran away from there when I was a kid, and I swore blind I'd never go back, apart from to catch a plane. Okay, cool. Hit up, like, uh, that monoglow monument thing in Meadows Park. Hang out for a few hours. If I survive this shit, I'll find you. If I don't show, then I'm gone. Move to Brazil. Move somewhere. Don't never look back, T. I thought I was the annoying drama queen in this pairing. I'm serious, T. This is my last testament. Yo. Send some money to my mom sometimes. And tell her I love her. Okay, Lou, shit. You'll be fine. Shit. No one in this whole crazy town is crazy enough to take you down.
tell people Timor and Mr. Ray have serious package now. We own H trade in Liberty. There's an angry Dominican here. Let's go, bitch! Hey now, pretty boy! You are too late to get it! Fuck you! You think he will forget about you? You and all your friends are dead! Yeah, that ain't happening, Timmy! Enjoy killing your whole family! Fucking fuck! Hey, Jimmy! What's happening? I can't talk, bro. She's really coming apart. What do you mean? Let me help you out. There ain't nothing you can do, Yusuf. If this crazy Russian fuck manages to leave the country, it's over for me and Tom. I gotta get down the douche's best way without any number of Russian assassins taking me down. Or we're done. Why am I even saying this? Wish me luck, bro. Sorry, Pops. Oh, come on, get up. Get up. Uh, you okay? Yeah, thanks. Take care of yourself, okay? Stay away from idiots like me. Fuck you.
You always have to make a scene, don't you? Yeah, I know. It's a real problem with me, you know? I wish I was more like you. Subtle, shy, retiring. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> oh, boy. I used to play around here when I was a kid. Dreaming of the world. Wondering what it was like at that place over there or that little island over there. Did you ever go that thing? Nah, I went to Algonquin instead. Waiting for the world to come to me. You did it, man. You did it. You, you saved my life. You, you saved the business. You, you fucking did it. Hey, man, I did what I could, bro. I'm proud of you, man. Thank you. But I don't want you to get a big head. I don't want you to go uh, change, become a megastar, go to Vinewood, write a blog. Oh. <laughs> You're a pill-popping old queen, man. I'm a murdering maniac. But we survived, bro. We survived. We more than survive, amigo. We prospered. We took on this town and we won. We took on this place and we gave it the fucking finger. Fuck you all! I don't care what people say. Tony Prince and Luis Lopez could not be stopped. Huh? Oh, jeez, who's this? What's up, my niggas? Oh, did he just say that? Uh, yeah, hey, man. You fucking made it. Man, that was some serious gangster shit. Shoot, shoot, shoot him up. I said shoot, shoot, shoot him up. <laughs> Yo, T, T, give me a hug, give me a hug. Not too close, though. I don't want to give my father the wrong impression. Ah, oh, Luis, I love you, man. I love you. I love you, too. I love everyone. Come on, let's get out of here. Oh, by the way, I think my father may be into franchising clubs. <laughs> I know. Franchise is not the way to go. The, the club is all about the people. Fuck the people. Fuck them all. Whip out your dick and piss all over them. <laughs> You're going to go a long way in hospitality, my friend. <laughs> 